everyone. Welcome in. Uh, I hope y'all are having a good Saturday. Um, we're going to be working on Fawn Hollow today. Uh, I've been working on this like a new exciting build that um, I want to do the foreground for. Uh, so that's what we'll be up to. Hey Lolita and hey Zach. Uh, thank you for being here and thanks for um, saying hi on the starting soon screen. It definitely helps a little with those starting stream nerves uh, to know that someone is here. Um, I'm glad you're doing good, Zach. Here's my new question of the day. If you could have a heads-up display that shows any stats about you, what stats would you want shown? Oh, is this like a like an RPG stat viewer or something like that? Like, um intuition, intelligence, strength, is that like what sort of thing it is? Oh, I just noticed the music wasn't on. So, um, I think the stats that I would want shown are maybe how I'm, uh, like my mental energy maybe, like maybe like my emotional state, mental energy, so that it would be like an indicator for other people how to, you know, maybe especially address me that day, or at least people who care, like friends and family and things. Um, I think that's a pretty good answer, because of course all those RPG traits uh, don't make a whole lot of sense in day-to-day -day life, so maybe something like that, like a little um, health stat <laughs> that would uh, be more useful. Uh, how about you? How about you, Zach? Oh, and hi, Pee-wee. <laughs> we uh, support Pee-wee in this house. Um, how are you? You doing good, Lolita? Went to a hometown festival today to see all the stands and the rides. Oh, that's cool. Um, we have those too. We call them like the state fair where I'm at. Uh, Aren't you over in Spain, Lolita? That's really cool that you all have like the same sort of thing where you have like a hometown carnival or... Uh, yeah, we call it the state fair. Uh, I haven't been to one in several years though because of the pandemic and all and um, I tend to be more of a roller coaster gal than like the carnival rides, so... Yeah, I'm itching to go to an amusement park. Oh, hi, Christy Crab. Welcome in. Hey, Lens. How are you all today? Anything exciting this weekend for you all? Just playing some Animal Crossing? Mood. Um, I guess exciting things that I got up to. I enjoyed my three days off. We um, watched Stranger Things, so... Um, no Stranger Things spoilers in the chat, obviously. Uh, not everyone's gotten to see it yet, but uh, I really enjoyed watching it, and it's sad that I have to wait, I don't know, how many more months or years for season five. Uh, season five is supposed to be the last season. But yeah, I don't know how many of you all are Stranger Things fans anyway. Sometimes it feels like it's a phenomenon that like everyone's a part of, but uh, that's definitely not the case. So, I don't have to ramble about that too long. Um, also, uh, I'm going to switch over to Animal Crossing and go ahead and do that. I uh, finished some simple panels that I was working on for quite a while. Uh, so let me go and show off my simple panels that I finished. Just to, I don't know, kill some more time <laughs> before we get actually productive. Um, but yeah, you can see on this one, uh, these simple panels, I did some like leaves on the walls and vines and they kind of like wrap around the windows. Um, by the way, uh, the reason why I have this here is because uh, it's nice to be able to ladder up to my house. But when I save the dream address, I'm gonna, you know, plug up that hole. You doing okay, Lens? Just playing ACNH and dreaming, choosing chaos with the surprise me option. What's the surprise me option? <laughs> Is that like a uh, New Horizon somehow? 
Yeah, I was having a pretty good time before stream. I was like listening to lots of 80s music and I was really like jamming out and um, enjoying my music. In fact, I think at the very beginning of the stream, like before I even started, when I was on the starting scene screen, I realized I was accidentally like playing the Smiths. Like <laughs> I was, I was like, I, I forgot momentarily like that my desktop audio would be like my Spotify. So I was just like, oh yeah, let me listen to the song on the starting soon screen, and then I realized I was broadcasting it. <laughs> but um, I tried to um, fix it when I realized. Oh hey, Shy, what movie did you watch? I'm in my hometown and probably some other places in Spain too. Each week of June is in a neighborhood, and now it's the final one. And it's the biggest carnival, and it's gonna last till Wednesday. Oh, cool. So each week in June, there's like a carnival in a different neighborhood. Um, my state fair is usually around October, so I associate it with autumn and getting um, apple cider. And yeah, it, it used to be sometimes cold in October, but we've had like lots of hot Octobers lately. It's like nuts always um, cold anymore but that's when we have our uh, state fair or carnival type things in October who's your favorite Stranger Things character oh that's kind of tough honestly because I sort of like it most for the overall vibe and like the plot like I do find the plot sort of fun very like supernatural and um, I just find it kind of a very cozy show because I like so many of the characters. Uh, but if I had to pick one... Um, I think Dustin's always funny. I like Nancy a lot. Uh, those might be maybe my favorites. Uh, Dustin and Nancy. Uh, Lucas was really good. Oh, I like Max a lot too. Max has really won me over, um, and Sadie Sink is such a good actress. All right, let me think about, uh, maybe I can go ahead and start fiddling with this. So it's the same build we have been doing. Let me go ahead and link the build here. And uh, I don't really know <laughs> how I'm gonna do this because I don't really have small enough trees. When you use ring boxes for distant buildings, there's not much you can do in the way of trees that are like in scale with a with a ring box. Oh, hi, Legend of Kal. Welcome in. Thank you for the rain. Uh, we just started here, so I hope you're having a cozy Saturday. Oh, Lens. So when you said that you chose chaos and did surprise me. You were like dreaming a dream with Luna and telling her that you want a surprise. Uh, was it a good dream? Was it a good island? I don't dream enough of islands probably. Uh, by the way, Zach asked, asked a cool question. Uh, maybe I can ask it to fellow Stranger Things fans in the chat that might be filtering in. Uh, what's your, who's your favorite Stranger Things character? curious to hear the answers oh you watch Doctor Strange in the multiverse that's cool um, I wonder if it's because it's like out on Disney Plus now uh, I saw that movie in theaters it was, it was okay um, you know as far as Marvel films go no Infinity War or Endgame but not every Marvel film is trying to be those things And hi, Winter! Welcome in! I'm so sorry that happened to you, Winter. Uh, let's definitely be clear that uh, even though I'm a big fan and I've been consumed by it and we're dabbling and talking about it, definitely no spoilers about the season. I'll uh, definitely <laughs> like ban and, and delete any spoilers. Please don't do that sort of thing. But we can like talk about favorite characters and whatnot. So here's a, I'm just trying to get a feel for like how big the trees are. <laughs> I wish I could shrink them down a little. They're like too big. 
Uh, yeah. Oh, hi, Kappa. Welcome in. It's good to see you. Uh, I really appreciate you all being here. I didn't really, like, announce the stream or give a possible time or anything, so <laughs> I didn't really give the greatest notice for this stream. Uh, I have to admit, I think I might be struggling with, like, a tiny bit of burnout, um, so I, I should probably try to figure that out internally, like, what I should do about it. Um, so it's, like, hard for me to start stream right away when I get home, because, like, I'm a tiny bit burned out, I think. But, uh, plus my, my back was hurting today, I wasn't having a good time, but yeah, thank you all so much for being here, and I uh, hope we can have a cozy time decorating together. Cool cityscape. Oh, thank you. Yeah, now I want to do, like, lots of distant farmland in front of it. That's, like, the goal for today is to do something of a foreground. Um, where did my picture go? I guess I'll click on my own link. Doctor Strange is streaming now. Uh, what did you think of Wanda in that movie? Did you, um, wasn't Wanda pretty cool? Your favorites are Mike and Eleven. Yeah, I would say, uh, one thing that affects me in Stranger Things is that season one I felt like was very visionary and it was kind of like what they ended up revolving the whole show around, so... I feel like there are some characters that sort of peaked in season one, and I feel like kind of Mike might be one of those characters. Uh, we don't have to discuss further. I definitely don't want to get into specifics, but uh, like Jonathan too, I don't know. I feel like um, because season one was such a great season, uh, and maybe they, they didn't know what to do when uh, some of the characters sort of peaked in, in season one. Uh, must be hard to do as a writer to uh, keep coming up with new storylines for everybody. All right. Uh, I'm going to test something out. It's like this little inkling feeling that I have that if I want to try to imitate my reference image, I think it would be so cool to have like little patchworks, like, like what you see when you're on a plane. You know when you're riding an airplane and you see like patchworks? Uh, that's kind of what's right here. Um, I don't really know if it's possible, but I was thinking of maybe trying to do like patchworks of like different shades of green and see if that like looks cool, like if it makes it look more distant like, like this is. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if it'll work though. <laughs> we'll see. I'm gonna test that out real quick. But yeah, I definitely love Eleven too. I think I had a brain fart when you asked me my favorite characters. And I like, for some reason, didn't think of Eleven. <laughs> the main character, practically. I didn't even like think of her. Oh, and hi, Holly. Nancy is your favorite. Yeah, Nancy is so cool. I really appreciate her, um, you know, as a... As a woman who, like, watches media and sometimes, and, you know, I like that representation of, like, strong female characters. I think they did a good job with Nancy. Um, I really like her a lot. Finished Stranger Things yesterday, Shy. So good. Yeah, I agree. Um, I'm trying to figure out what color I should do. Uh, I wonder if this is like a good color of green. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> I can always like redo it. For Doctor Strange, I think it was a good portrayal of Wanda, not making her fit the superhero mold. Yeah, yeah, and uh, it makes sense for her character too. And it was really cool to see her uh, do all her Scarlet Witch stuff. Is that Sticker Bush Symphony I hear? Yeah, we love Donkey Kong music here. Uh, do you like it too? 
Uh, what's your favorite Donkey Kong song? Uh, mine is probably Aquatic Ambiance, which I play a lot on my starting soon screen. Alright, so how should I do this, like, patchwork thing? Should I do it, like, with dirt paths? I don't know. <laughs> I have, like, no idea if this will work or not. Do you have the slot space for that? My heart hopes so, Shy. My, my heart hopes so. One thing that's kind of cool is I did free up a few slots when I finished my simple panel patterns. Uh, let me show you what I'm talking about. Oh, <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. So um, I used to be using up these slots to kind of like copy and paste patterns as like backups. Like for example, like when I was working on adding leaves to this window, I would save a backup of how it looked like before I added the leaves in case I needed to start over. So it's like all these slots right here are open. Um, I might end up needing them for something else though. I still have to do my train tracks that like go underwater, but I figure maybe there's some wiggle room for that. Force comes to worse, I might get rid of this bush thing. I'm sure a lot of people, when they see this bush, they think of Animal Crossing GameCube, and in a weird way, I don't know how I feel about that. Like, I, I just want that to look like a bush. I don't want it to look like a GameCube reference, so uh, maybe I, I'll end up deleting that. I like it, though. It's good for... Oh, I forgot. I have to add, like, a transparent pixel for this to work. <laughs> I love the Donkey Kong series. I have great affection for pretty much all the music. Yeah, that's the funny thing about me. I've never played Donkey Kong, so I'm kind of uh, just like a music fan, which I guess says a lot that I don't even have the memories of like playing the music to associate with or anything. It just gives me the feels even without like the nostalgia of like playing it as a little kid or whatever. <laughs> Why does this song always play like near the beginning? <laughs> I feel like um, my playlist, which I put on shuffle, this song like pops up weirdly close to the beginning of stream. And I just think to myself, it's too early for this like 2 a.m. bop from Animal Crossing GameCube. It's too early. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I'm so curious if this will work or not. Maybe I should try more than one like square patch before I do it. But in a weird way, like I could see how if I did it right, I could see how it could be cool. I don't know if I've seen anyone else do that too, so it could be unique. Um. I guess I'll move my webcam over here because I need to be able to see the floor. You could do alternating dirt to give space between for roads or paths between the grassy areas. Alternating dirt. Oh, yeah. I know what you mean. Yeah, that's like a trick you can do with the in-game paths. Like you can do dirt and then do sand and then they won't connect with each other because they're not like the same material. So you can do some cool stuff like that. Um, I did also like, I liked the idea of doing a sliver of road for that like train to be on or <laughs> I feel like I, I'm talking like a drunk person or something <laughs> trains don't ride on roads but um yeah like a little ribbon a ribbon of a road and then like I can put tiny little vehicles on it <laughs> vehicles <laughs> did you create those co codes the building ones yeah 
Um, I made them myself. Uh, I'm really happy with how they came out. Um, I even have them posted on my uh, creator code or whatever already. So if you ever want to use um, some apartment building codes, uh, you can use mine. You all want to see my posted designs. That would push the perspective more. Aw, thank you for your encouragement, Shy. I'm really trying something new here with this like patchwork quilt of a uh, airplane view grass. Um, oh, I guess it had my MA in the corner there. But yeah, this is all the stuff I finished. I uh, made different apartment building panels to match the different color of panels. Like this one matches the brown one. This one matches the like super dark brown one that's almost like a like kind of charcoal color to me. Uh, this one matches the sort of like tan panel. And I guess those are the only ones I did because I didn't really want like a white building. Uh, Fawn Hollow is very autumnal. So I figured these were the colors that would look best in an autumnal island, not like stark white, like the white simple panel. Um, but yeah, I have ones that don't have leaves and then I have ones that have leaves. And uh, I think they look pretty nice. They're, they're pretty simple, but sometimes that works well for like forced perspective builds because you can like see it really well, even from far away, even if the light's kind of hazy. Um, like I made them very contrasty. If I decide to reset my island, maybe I want to build an abandoned desert build. Uh, that's, that, that sounds really cool. Uh, deserts do tend to be kind of abandoned. <laughs> uh, not a lot of people live in deserts, but I mean, I guess some people do. It's definitely not like uh, very equipped for life in a lot of cases though. Deserts, I was reading this really interesting article about this desert called Atacama Desert and apparently it's like so uninhabitable it's like the the driest place on earth and like pretty much like no one <laughs> lives there and can live there and usually when um movie places need to like get a shot in Mars or like some sort of alien looking planet maybe even like Tatooine I don't know where, where do they shoot Tatooine at does anyone know <laughs> but yeah they tend to like shoot it at Atacama Desert NASA has even done like experiments like meant for like alien planets on Atacama Desert because it's just like so much more extreme than a lot of places in the world uh, Sorry, I have to think a little as far as this pattern and like what color I want to make it. What color should the road be? The road probably shouldn't be a very dark color because like... Sorry, I'm thinking. <laughs> the, the road shouldn't be a very dark color because when you view things from far away, um, it tends to make the colors hazier and like less dark. So if I'm going to do some sort of like thin strip of road, uh, I should probably make it like kind of a brown like this, like a, a middle brown. Are there people living in that city? I don't know, would you live in like a, if it was the post-apocalypse, would you still live in the city even though the buildings might be crumbling or unsafe or like grown vines on them? It's, it's an interesting thought. Uh, I guess if they're still stable for a while, <laughs> I guess you could still uh, stay at your apartment. Hmm. Uh, that's sort of interesting. I guess it depends on what sort of apocalypse it is. Is it an apocalypse that like really destroyed the city or some other sort of apocalypse. 
Um, but yeah, I usually think of the post-apocalyptic villagers that are in this island as living elsewhere. Like I'm gonna put villager houses in certain zones and give them like occupations in the post-apocalypse and stuff like that. So I guess probably like in my, in my island, I would say no. Oh my gosh, is this too small? I keep forgetting to lay like the dirt path first. I'm like not used to doing this. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm being a dum dum. Oh, hey, bashful turnip. Welcome in. How are you today? Have you committed to uh, watching Stranger Things? I know you were asking like opinions about it um, in Discord. <laughs> have you decided? No pressure. It's good to see you. Good to have you here, my dark buddy. I know Salvia does the ultimate fist bumps, but I'll give you an ultimate fist bump as well. <laughs> If it wouldn't be a bunch of design slots, I would say you need an ominous crop circle. <laughs> uh, I feel like I saw some sort of like weird alien movie like that when I was growing up. I think it was called like Signs or something. Does anyone remember this movie? I have to Google it now. When I was um, growing up, we had like a sci-fi channel. I'm kind of like nostalgic for this sci-fi channel on my cable. <laughs> there was like some weird shit on that channel. It was really funny. Like they would just, in like half of these like creepy movies, they like starred Dakota Fanning. Like she was like the default, like mysterious wise young girl. <laughs> um, was she in signs? Let me see. Uh, I don't know. I don't know, but <laughs> pretty sure I saw her in some of these sci-fi movies. Where's that pattern I just did? Here we go. Not trying to sound weird, but your voice and the way you talk is so soothing. Oh, thank you. I really appreciate it. It's really nice of you to say, and thanks for lurking and hanging out. I appreciate that. Hi, Stream Dad. Hi, Big Vol Fan. I was thinking about implementing the desert city from Avatar, the last airbender with the ice mountain thing. Let's see. Can I remember? Desert city from Avatar, the last airbender with the ice mountain thing. <laughs> I don't know what that is. I'll uh, take your word for it, though. Uh, Shy, do you know what that is? I know you're a fellow Avatar fan. Uh, when I think of ice, I think of, like, the Northern Water Tribe. But, yeah, uh, you, you mentioned just to have a nod to a cool series. Uh, that really can be a special thing to do in Animal Crossing, I've found, is... Uh, sometimes it can really enhance your love and, like, what builds mean to you if you, like, draw inspiration from... Uh, something that is like dear to your heart. Uh, I found that a little with Fawn Hollow, with drawing inspiration for Fawn Hollow from some of my favorite like shows and things. Uh, so uh, I encourage you to do that, even though I was joking around about not remembering that specific place from Avatar. When I think of Desert City, I think of that like town that Zuko went to in the episode called Zuko Alone. Zuko was a total, I was about to say like, <laughs> I don't want to sound creepy, but I, I really like Zuko in that episode. Wink, wink, nod, nod. <laughs> I can't attach vocabulary um, adjectives to it though without feeling like I sound creepy. Uh, this doesn't really look good. Well, I mean, it's, I don't know, I think I need to make some adjustments. Tatooine has mostly been filled in Tunisia, but also the Mojave and Nevada Sierra Mountains. Dang, that's so cool that you know that, Shy. How do you know that? I wonder how they did stuff like Naboo. 
or like the Coruscant city. Was that like all CGI? If you want to survive, maybe there are these people that like prepare for doomsday. <laughs> I'm sure there are some people that prepare for that and they'll probably be like ahead of the game. <laughs> Uh, every now and then Costco sells like this like doomsday kit or whatever and it's really awkward like sometimes they'll sell it like right after an election or something it's like what what are you doing Costco <laughs> why are you, you fear mongering with your item choices oh and hi serene Sundays good morning to you uh, welcome in how has your weekend been have y'all had a good relaxing weekend or an exciting one You actually like the Signs movie? It's kind of creepy. <laughs> I'm surprised I remembered it. I don't really remember the plot very well. I think the aliens were kind of creepy if I remember that though. Ultimate fist bump, best show ever. And yes, I think I'll definitely pick Stranger Things back up again. Yeah, I hope the final season is worth it. I mean, that's kind of what I've got my eye on too. Uh, season five will be the final one. Oh, this is neon as heck. This will probably look terrible. Let's turn down that vividness or something. Okay, this is a very, like, pea green. <laughs> very barf green. Oh, Dakota Fanning wasn't in that movie. I swear I've seen her in some like um, in some movies like that. Oh, you've never seen Avatar, Shy? Who was I thinking of? <laughs> the one that they went for like a vacation things in the library episode. Ooh, that would be really cool to do like the sunken library from Avatar. That would be awesome. No, <laughs> that's not what I wanted to do. Oh, hey, Katie. Happy Saturday to you. I was really uh, jamming out to some 80s music earlier, Katie. I kind of thought of you. Uh, Cozy Sakura, thank you for the follow. Welcome in. I am just all kinds of like screwing up right now. Like I have no idea what is happening. <laughs> We're gonna figure it out though. Oh, you think all the Avatar memes are funny? I'm trying to think if there's something like that that I enjoy the memes for, but I don't actually watch. <laughs> you always include something Studio Ghibli on your island, Serene? Oh, that's really sweet. Uh, what are some of the Studio Ghibli stuff that you have? You have like a little ponyo and a glass jar on the beach. Oh, that's precious. Oh no. My squares are connecting with each other. This isn't good. Uh, okay, let's use this one. Naboo is actually this pretty place in Italy. Oh, really? I wonder if people from Italy like feel weird about that. Like. Hey, I know that place. I've heard some people that live in Georgia, like they really recognize a lot of the locations, like in movies and shows, even like Stranger Things. Uh, apparently Georgia's like really big, like in the film industry or whatever, and uh, there's like a lot of shooting that goes on there. You're having a relaxing and quiet weekend, Serene Sundays. Oh, that's good. I'm having a working weekend, but I'm looking forward to having a day off soon. I have a day off Monday. Ooh, Hoth was Norway. I did think Hoth didn't like look as cool an alien. Um, personally, maybe I'm like not super enthusiastic about icy planets. Uh, to me, those would be like the most boring planets or like the icy ones. Um, yeah. 
I like Tatooine with the double sunsets, but I'm also a little tired of them going to Tatooine all the time. <laughs> I want them to pick a new planet. Like, they are there so much. If Stranger Things pulls a Game of Thrones, I swear. I bet they won't. I feel like they've made pretty good decisions. Uh, Game of Thrones, the issue was, like, once they didn't have material to adapt, it just, like, went downhill. And I think you could see, like, the train wreck from a mile away. We just, some of us didn't see it in time. But, yeah, I think you could see that train wreck forming back in season seven and six. <laughs> uh, but some of us just kept watching anyway. Uh, for those of you that are coming in right now, I'm sort of experimenting with something weird. I liked the idea of, like, doing some airplane patches. Like, um, squares that you would, like, see from an airplane. I don't know if it would- if it'll actually work, though. <laughs> Feel free to, like, drag me if you think this is looking really weird. Oh, hi, Cozy Sakura. It's good to see you. Good to have you here. I just realized I, like, didn't fill in one of the patterns. Keep forgetting to tell you I got the stickers in the mail. Oh, cool. I'm glad you uh, got it safely. Let me know what you put the stickers on. <laughs> or maybe you're like me and never use the stickers. I kind of want this, I guess, to connect with this airplane patch. Uh, so I gotta remember, like, what did I use for this? Oh, hey, GPV, welcome in. Are you having a crazy weekend as you often do? <laughs> Another of the foresty areas in Star Wars are filmed in the redwoods of California and in the forest of Dean in England. Wow, I've heard of the forest of Dean before. That's really neat. Uh, I wonder if that's like a potential place to go if you um, go to the UK. But yeah, those redwoods in California, they're wild. Um, I was scrolling Instagram and it randomly selected or showed me like one of those redwoods and someone like putting their arms around it, which, you know, you can't put your arms around a redwood. They're so wide. Uh, those are just wild to me. I can't believe they're real. Why don't we have redwoods, like, everywhere? That would be so sick. Like, I want to see some redwoods on my Sunday walk. Like, <laughs> why don't we have any here? It's not fair. Or maybe, like, they used to exist in other places, but then... We cut them down. I mean, that's possible, too. <laughs> there was material to add from the books, but they went and rushed to finish because they didn't want to stay doing Game of Thrones. George wanted to extend it some more to do it properly, but they ran to do Star Wars, but then got dropped. I know. I know all the sordid details, Kappa. I really think they, they made a bad call. They should have, like, handed it over to someone else if they were tired of it. But, yeah, that's what they've said in interviews, is that they were really tired of doing Game of Thrones. But it's like, you're getting paid so much. So many people are so invested in this. Like, now is not the time to, like, drop the ball. Uh, one thing I'm wondering if I should do, I guess I should maybe try to match the grass in-game, like, a little better... Um, it bums me out because I would like to greenify the gas, the grass, but I'm just noticing these slivers in between the squares are, like, throwing me off. So, I hope I'm making sense, but I guess because of the slivers in between the squares, I feel like I should change them to be more orangey instead of green, but that makes me sad. <laughs> I wanted green grass. Maybe I can always try to, you know, change them later and see if I can get it to work. The 
island Luke secluded himself to is an Ireland island, and the stone hunts are the real historical huts. Oh, really? Ah, man, I wish that was fresher in my memory. I think I've only seen uh, The Force Awakens once, um, or whatever one Luke was in. That was like the middle one, right? <laughs> Uh, I really like that though. That's neat. Oh, and hi Derek. Happy weekend to you too. Uh, it's good to see you. Uh, what have you been playing lately? Uh, let me get a, a shout out for you. Oh, and hi Appa. <laughs> I love your username so much. It sparks so much joy for me. I, uh, I was telling someone the other day, I wish I had my own Appa. And they were like, you do have an Appa, because I have like a plushie of Appa. But I was like, no, I want a, I want a real Appa. <laughs> um, it's so sad that something so tantalizingly adorable as Appa, like, isn't real. Uh, he was one of my favorite parts of Avatar, was just like seeing his antics. I like how they didn't sugarcoat Appa, like he was often kind of being grumpy and like just making like guttural noises and stuff and it just made him even more adorable that they didn't uh, sugarcoat that speaking of animals maybe dusty heard me she is in the room <laughs> she she heard me start stream and she had to make herself known make an appearance how do you have patience for a build like this I'm a very patient person. <laughs> it's like one of my strengths, I guess. Uh, my job is really annoying too. People are like, I don't know how you do it. Uh, it's like stacking books in a Tetris, basically, like on a Costco book table. But yeah, I guess that's one of my my gifts is that I'm very patient. Uh, I'm trying to figure out what color to do this. Maybe something a little lighter? I hope the House of the Dragon isn't screwed up. House of the Dragon? What is that referring to? Oh! <laughs> is that something that, um... Oh yeah, that's like an HBO series similar to Game of Thrones or like in the same universe as Game of Thrones but instead of like the modern era it's like going back to the past it's like a prequel uh dealing with uh Valyria I think the the family that has like all the dragons and stuff Uh, maybe I should just like roll with this and fiddle with the patterns later. I feel bad. <laughs> I shouldn't fiddle with patterns. Oh, hi, Faruka. It's been good. Uh, it's it's good to see you. I hope you've been doing well. How are you? Your Twitch is full of weeds. I love that. I don't know if anyone has ever said that before. The uh, artistic analogy of uh, a Twitch account to an Animal Crossing town. <laughs> It took me a second to to figure out what you meant, though. I was like, wait, Twitch doesn't have weeds. Lenore, 27 months. Can't believe it's been that long. Love being here with you in the Force fam. All of your builds and designs look so amazing. Can't wait to see where AC takes you next. Oh, uh, Lenore, you are the sweetest. You always have such super sweet kind words uh you mean a lot to me and uh your support means a lot to me uh thanks for being part of the force fam for so long uh it means a lot on twitch to have these like long lasting friendships and connections and i hope we can stay in touch for a long time i can't wait to see where ac takes you next to or where ac takes us all into virtual virtual reality or Whatever it does <laughs> in the future. Love this build. Oh, thank you, Derek. 
means a lot to me. You've been doing good, haven't been gaming too much lately, getting ready for a move. Oh, that's right. I remember reading about that on your Twitter now. Uh, I was trying to remember what announcement I, I read on your Twitter. <laughs> Does that sound bad? I was like, I remember reading something from um, Derek, like kind of a notice that you wouldn't be able to stream as much. I think that's probably my favorite that I've done so far is like the little yellow strip there. Brings out the yellows in the grass and still looks kind of distant. The Last Jedi is where it's featured more. Uh, which one do you think is the best like pre uh, sequel movie? Uh, which of the sequel movies is your favorite? Oh, I missed you too, Furugo. Are you from anywhere outside the U.S.? I haven't seen your stream a whole lot, and it sounds like you have a slight accent. Um, I'm actually uh, from the East Coast U.S. Uh, I might talk a little funny. <laughs> I don't know. I try to, like, talk louder uh, when I'm streaming because I'm a very soft-spoken person. Uh, I don't know if it works, though. I feel like I'm still soft-spoken when I stream, so it could be in the effort of projecting. Maybe I sound a little different. <laughs> That's one thing I had to get used to when I first started streaming. I felt like I talked so softly and I had to figure out how to project more. Uh, let's do this yellow. Maybe you can do more green details on top of the more yellowy green grass. Yeah, I was thinking that if I end up doing these patterns shy, like, which I guess they're still like kind of on the table if I end up doing them, but maybe I could kind of add more texture later. And uh, even more details, wouldn't it be fun if, sorry, <laughs> I gotta pull up my, my reference. Wouldn't it be cool if maybe I had some details on some of them, like to be like rows of crops or like dot trees on some of them? I don't know. That might be cool to add like texture to the squares. But yeah, this is my reference. So we'll see if it ends up looking anything like this vibe or not. Trying to go easy on myself though while I experiment. I don't really know what I'm doing, but I'm trying some new things. Uh, what have you been up to, Lenore? Are you doing any shows right now? Lenore does uh, acting. Oh, did I remember to do a transparent? No, of course I didn't. So that new HBO show is about the Targaryens and their own war, because one side is the legitimate, legitimate ruler, but the other is challenging the throne, because it's a war of dragon lords against dragon lords. Oh. It's kind of like infighting, I guess. <laughs> oh, um, my, my point of view on the new Game of Thrones shows is that they kind of broke my trust a little with um, the Game of Thrones show that, of course, was like a cultural phenomenon. So I'm just gonna like wait to see what the reviews are like. Like if the reviews are really good and like, you have to watch this, then I guess I'll check it out, maybe. But I'm probably not gonna be the first one to watch them. <laughs> oh, hi, Mandy Cat. Welcome in. How have you been? It's good to see you. You've been d doing good, Furugo. Been quite good since you lost the Wild World Town. Started focusing on other things, like drawing, a job, Stardew Valley. Aww. That's a little bittersweet to me that I guess <laughs> not playing Animal Crossing like was uh, ended up being like a positive move, but that that is very much important as well as to focus on other priorities as much as we love our hobbies and our gaming. Uh, it's good to have other outlets and other focuses. I feel like my job is such like a non-focus. I, I only focus on it when I clock in. <laughs> it can be nice having a job like that though. It's just a clock in, clock out sort of thing. You have to work on getting dinner together. 
Oh, I hope you have a good dinner, Bashful Turnip. Yeah, I started stream kind of late. Um, <laughs> hopefully I can start earlier tomorrow. Uh, I don't know how many... Wait, these look basically the same. Oh god, I got kind of confused for a second. So... Oh well, I guess I'll just change one of these. They look very similar. <laughs> Virtual reality Animal Crossing would be awesome. I'd never want to stop. I've never done virtual reality before, so I'm gonna hold my opinion before, like, until I actually try it. I don't know if it's, like, trippy, or... Would it be weird to play video games in that format? Your favorite of the sequel movies is, uh, Force Awakens. That one was a lot like A New Hope. Uh, it was, like, really trying to recall that, I think. A lot of streamers I watch are moving right now. What's going on? I feel left out. Kind of get the urge to move sometimes. Yeah, maybe like a lot of leases um, change like in the summer or things like that. I don't know. Or it's like a good moving time in general. Moving time type of energy. Oh, you're gonna watch all my other streams? No pressure. <laughs> I know sometimes watching a VOD can be kind of like, uh, I don't know the word. I guess since it's not live, it can sort of feel different. Oh, thank you, Rosie. You're sweet. It's funny that you ask about accents because, uh, I was watching a video on YouTube about accents earlier and it was really interesting and kind of funny. Uh, the reason why I was looking it up was because uh, I didn't really realize that Millie Bobby Brown was British. Like, <laughs> she, she sounds very American. She does a good job with it. But then I watched like an interview and I was like, sure enough, uh, she sounds she sounds British. So yeah, I was kind of confused about that and um, started doing research. Like, why is it that British actors can do better American accents? But then you don't really see the reverse. You don't see a lot of American people doing British accents. So it just made me curious. But uh, like Charlie Heaton, who plays Jonathan, he's he's British too. And he does like an American accent. It just feels like kind of common. The Spider-Man guy, um, he's British, does an American accent. And so I was watching this video of uh, people from other countries doing American accents. It was really funny. A lot of them were doing like the New York accent, like a coffee, you know, like that's what I think of when I think of a New York accent is coffee. <laughs> oh, see, I can't even do it. Um, but a lot of them were doing New York accents or Valley Girl. I don't know. There must be like a lot of Valley Girl representation and like media or something. I, I don't really know a lot of people that talk like that, but... Sorry, I'm kind of struggling. What am I, what am I not though? <laughs> this is just what I do here. Maybe if I turn down the vividness a lot and then up the brightness. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't like how like blue it looks when you take down the vividness. That's kind of weird to me. All right, let's try this. This looks like a good green. Love some trial and error. Oh, thank you, Shy. It means a lot to me. And then the musical Chitty Chatty Bang Bang. It's based off of the 1968 film. I don't have a major role or anything, but I have some solos and lines. Oh, Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. I've heard of that. I'm not super familiar with it, though. I'm not a good, like, I don't know a lot about plays, though. One thing that weirds me out is... I keep trying to open this menu, but I keep opening my patterns instead. It's kind of throwing me off. 
we waited till the last season of Game of Thrones to start binge watching it all. I'm glad we did. <laughs> Seemed less invested and less let down, not having to wait years for the end. Yeah, I binge watched it before the final season, so I was kind of like waiting for the final season like everyone else, but I didn't watch it for years and years and years or anything. Oh, you're going to return to Wild World again soon, Furugo? Uh, let me know how that goes and feel free to share in Discord your, your new Wild World adventures. Oh, and hi, Yogurt. Welcome in. How are you today? Hope you're having a good weekend. The problem of my accent is that I, like, eat the R and the S in words. Yeah, I was trying to get people to describe American accents, too. Like, I was trying to be like, what does an American accent sound like to people? And uh, to me, like, American accents, like, if I had to s describe them, I think they sound very flat. Like, at least mine does. I feel like I don't say stuff with weird enunciation. <laughs> But then again, that's probably because that's what I'm used to. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's why it's trippy. Like, to me, it sounds like British people, like, they, they add stuff to the words. <laughs> but that's just because it's not what I do. So, I don't know. I was really, like, tripping out trying to figure out, like, if you could describe it. Like, what does it sound like to, or what does it sound like to other people? But maybe that's just not really how accents work. I don't know. <laughs> I feel like I offended every every UK person that might be in here. It feels like you like add stuff to the way. <laughs> oh man. Idris Elba, even when British people sing they sound American. Yeah, I've heard something like that accents go away in singing because when you sing like you stretch out your vowels and that's when a lot of accents are is like how you pronounce your vowels uh maybe i'll just like kind of plan out the squares and figure this out later i feel like i'm being a bad streamer <laughs> i'm sorry <laughs> maybe i'll be able to focus better later I feel like English people do much better American accents than the other way around. Yeah, it would be really hard for me to do one. I guess um, my main exposure was like like the Harry Potter movies when I was younger. Um, so it's like door. I can say it like door. I, I don't know. <laughs> don't listen to me. I can't do it. I can't do it. I'm embarrassed now. <laughs> I can do a country accent pretty good. I'm familiar with that one because I'm kind of in the country. I think Americans exaggerate too much without formal accent training. Yeah, you can get coached, I think, like from voice coaches and whatnot. For me, it's, hey, I'm walking here. That's <laughs> the default New York line. Where does that come from? Because, yeah, I associate that, too. I think I saw it, like, in Rick and Morty, but maybe Rick and Morty got it from somewhere else. Where does the, hey, I'm walking here. <laughs> Where does that come from? Even among our regions, like Southern and Boston and New York. Yeah, we do have a fair amount of accents. So maybe when people are talking about a specific American accent, they're talking about like the, the general American accent, whatever that is. Because there's a fair amount of different ones. American accents are plain. I hear you, Kappa, but I also don't know if they sound plain to other people. In Australia, we don't have regional accents. No matter which state you're from, we all sound the same. <laughs> I never thought about it until now. Interesting. I think to um, Americans, like 
Australian accents and British accents sound kind of similar, but like a little different. So that's kind of how I'm at. Excuse me. I live in Wisconsin and I sound very Midwest, almost like Canadian. Oh, interesting. Whenever I listen to Canadian people, I feel like I don't really uh, hear anything unusual like about their voice. It just uh, sounds normal to me. I'm from Germany and I like American accents more. It's less try hard. <laughs> what? Uh, it can't help it though. But yeah, in my research, apparently it's called like the posh pronunciation and uh, there are actually like different dialects or, or there, there's different accents like across the UK. Like it might vary from, you know, London or Manchester or whatever. One thing that kind of sucks, I mean, I don't really know what to do about it, but like I keep not really remembering like which one is which, <laughs> like which one is dirt, which one is sand. So then I have to like, see? Uh, so maybe what I should do is I should block out the paths first before I pick out a color for them. Yeah, let's do that. My boss is British and some of the things she says, I'm like, huh? Like British say aluminum instead of... Aluminium instead of aluminum? Oh. <laughs> who knows who, um, who says it correct though? I feel like I look really like washed out. Having like a dark hair will, will do that to you. It kind of creates a lot of contrast. <laughs> Sorry for looking very ghostly. I think it's fascinating that the transatlantic accent feels out of fashion, which was a learned blended American British accent. Yeah, I don't really know if I know what a uh, transatlantic is. Um, what accent is that, Shy? Do you think I would know what that is? Also, I feel like this road should maybe, like, end at some point. It's an awful, like, large road, so it should probably, like, trail off at some point and, like, disappear into something else. Uh... Okay, I think I have an idea. Oh, hey, Pylite! Welcome! Oh, and hey, Mossy! I'm happy to see you. How's it going? Are you having a good weekend? Sand has the highlights. Yeah. Uh, I think I've decided I'm not going to uh, put the patterns on top until later anymore because it got too confusing. We need to learn British English at school and I never understood. <laughs> oh, I feel bad. <laughs> We, we can't be we can't be calling it weird y'all we can't be calling it weird <laughs> we can't we can't do that um honestly though i mean i guess uh some accents do um get more love than others i know like the southern accent like it gets like a lot of hate but then ironically sometimes when i hear like opinions from like foreign people in like YouTube comments they actually say that they like the southern accent it's like hmm. but yeah I like British accents a lot I think they can be a uh, very nice to listen to but yeah I think I would have difficulty talking like that unless I grew up there it, it doesn't come natural to me okay maybe I should do like a big square right here Will I be able to, like, place items or, like, place trees? I guess not. Wherever I put a pattern, it probably won't let me plant a tree. Might have to, like, leave some just plain dirt so I can plant a few trees or, like, do some foliage. Uh, thank you for the follow. <laughs> I'm remembering correctly. 
the word was initially going to be aluminum, it was changed to aluminium only because it went in line with other EM elements discovered around that time. Oh, like plutonium? Yeah, it is kind of one of like one of those ending uh, consonants or, or whatever you call that. It's like an ending that you see a lot in elements. Uh, that's really cool that you know that, Katie. That's really random, like as far as a fun fact. <laughs> Katie knows the history of aluminum. Uh, is aluminum an element? Uh, honestly, there are some elements that like, you know, I'm, I'm no chemistry major. I took chemistry. Sometimes I forget what some of them are and I'm like, Oh wait, nickel's an element or like, I don't know. It's, it's like stuff that you hear a lot are just like randomly elements. And now I have to Google is, is it an element? Okay, it is. Thank God. <laughs> See, nickel doesn't seem like an element to me. Nickel is like a coin. We're such a huge country. Most of us are immigrants. You can tell which country someone's family are from by the way they talk. For example, speaking to my Nana, you'd be able to tell she's from Italy. But if you'd speak to my boyfriend, you'd be able to tell my best friend, you'd be able to tell she's from Greece. Yeah, I like that too. I think the Cuphead show does a good transatlantic accent. Cuphead? That's like a game, isn't it? I remember on Twitch when all the cool kids were playing Cuphead. <laughs> they made like a show out of it. Uh, what, what did they do for this show? I hope I'm doing this right. Should we take like a little breather, uh, hop up here, see like how terrible this looks? Oh, I definitely don't like that, like, dark green color. <laughs> that looks hideous. If you watched any movies from 1900 to 1940s, you've heard it. Oh, I don't really watch old movies like that. I think one of the oldest movies that I watched, um, in my creative writing class, they had us watch this movie called Some Like It Hot or whatever, I, I think it was. I think it was, like, a Marilyn Monroe movie. Um, but I was like, oh wow, this is an old movie I'm watching. I guess I don't watch old ones a whole lot. <laughs> I work with Canadians and looking out for the A is a hobby of mine. Uh, what's the American version of A? One time I actually saw, like in a comment on YouTube, they said like is our A. Like we say like all the time. I'm kind of guilty of that, even though... You know, like, I'm not, like, a valley girl accent or whatever. I, I do say that a lot, I think. It's just, like, this holding place word. Like, when you're thinking or you're hesitating, it just, like, slips out. It's almost hard to control. The cup. Oh, sorry. The program manager at my company that I deal with a lot is Canadian, and I've never heard him say A, but he says lots of things I haven't heard since leaving New Zealand, like the term dog's breakfast for things that are messy. Oh yeah, like uh, idioms that are different. That's, that's pretty neat to think of too. I'm sure America has lots of stuff like that. Uh, sorry, I'm looking for my reference image. I like lost it in my tabs. You gotta love when you lose stuff in your tabs. <laughs> Here we go. All right. Okay, I have an idea about something. Have a good dinner, Ferrugo. You learned the aluminum trivia in a linguistics class. Oh, that's cool. An example of a transatlantic accent, Catherine Hepburn. 
Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. Uh, I really have was very unfamiliar with that, but I know Kath Hepburn is uh, really, really famous, so I'm sure I can find some examples. I think I want this to just be regular dirt. Maybe like I'll leave it kind of. Ugh. This is hard. <laughs> this is hard. Uh, basically, I just want to create like a big dirt swath over here and uh, I want to use it to like maybe plant a few little baby trees and stuff like that. But I wanted it to like connect with the road. So since it doesn't connect, I'm kind of bummed out and I guess I gotta like redo this later. Oh well, we're just gonna ignore that right now. Just imagine that it connects. I'll fix it later. You're doing okay, Mossy? Been kind of down today, but managing. Oh, I'm sending you hugs. I hope your day gets better tomorrow or throughout the rest of the weekend, Mossy. I kind of feel you. I was a little down too because of my back being sore. Uh, but having you all here is cheering me up and making me happier. Uh, thanks for hanging out with me. I always see people giving the Australian accent from the TV show H2O. They say we or or when there's an O at the end of a word. So no becomes nor in a kind of nasally way. Oh, so fake accents of Australian accents sound like that? Interesting. <laughs> yeah, I could never, uh, I could never do like a fake accent or I don't have that kind of coaching. I wouldn't be good at it. Cuphead is so fun, but so hard. Yeah, wasn't that the whole gimmick why everyone was playing it on Twitch was it was like a really hard platformer. Uh, do you think, is it like the hardest platformer it is that, that there is or are there even harder ones? I watched a video on the transatlantic accent recently talking about how it sprung up out of nowhere and was really popular in movies for a bit and then disappeared forever. Yeah, I don't really hear people talk about it a whole lot. Uh, Y'all are educating me on it a lot. I guess I never really studied accents in school or whatever, so it's just ones that I've heard of. The Cuphead show on Netflix is a sort of adaptation of the game. Uh, that's so interesting to me. It doesn't seem like a story-based game, but maybe um, I'm wrong about that. Uh, I was talking with a coworker once about how it seems more and more popular these days to adapt uh, video games into shows. Like they, I think, are even making one for Last of Us, right? Am I making that up? Uh, that would be cool. <coughs> That would be cool to watch a Last of Us show. And uh, Arcane is from League of, Le League of Legends. I'm trying to think what else. Witcher is from, uh, you know, the Witcher game. We do say like a lot. <laughs> yeah. I honestly, sometimes I notice it about myself, like I notice myself doing it and I kind of cringe. Uh, it's a really hard thing to correct when it's just like a habit. Uh, they say that it is a benefit of public speaking if you can try to avoid like saying things like that a lot. And it's like filler words. I love some older films, some like it hot is a good one. I like German films from like the 20s. Uh, yeah, I remember when doing research about possible like cult classics or like highly esteemed movies. Um, I think there are some cool like artistic movements that have to do with movies like surrealist movies and whatnot, like really artsy black and white ones from the past, but I can have such a bad attention span when it comes to movies. <laughs> I don't know why I'm so, I'm so much better with like TV shows. You're Canadian, so this whole con conversation is interesting. Yeah, accents and languages are an interesting topic, I think. 
Audrey Hepburn's accent was really unique and utterly obsessed with her accent. I, I can't really recall what she sounds like. Um, I've never been like, I don't really like uh, watch a, a whole lot of old films like I was just telling Katie and I guess I don't really idolize like the sort of like old Hollywood period for some reason. So I don't really know a whole lot about them or can recall them in my head. I can like picture them though, like Twiggy and um, Audrey Hepburn, Marilyn Monroe. I can I can like visualize a lot of them, but haven't seen a lot of their stuff. Oh, thank you, Mossy. Y'all are making me happy too. Thanks for hanging out with me. We're trying to do like airplane patches uh, to kind of play with the illusion of this being like a distant scene. And plus you can kind of see it in my reference picture, but uh, I don't know. I'm not really totally sure if it's going to work. I was scrolling through Netflix the other day and saw a Dynasty Warriors movie. What type of uh, game is that? I sound like such a <laughs> casual gamer. I'm like, hmm. I haven't heard of that game. Some Like It Hot is my favorite Marilyn Monroe movie ever. I watched it for the first time when I was five and I've been in love since. Yeah, I got the impression that uh, my creative writing teacher that showed us that was like really cultured and um, like knew a lot about it. and. It's like, this is a good movie. And uh, I thought it was interesting that she used it as an example of like creative writing, but I guess writing a script, that is a form of writing, so. Oh, it's like a fighting pow pow game. <laughs> Figures. The, with the name Warriors in it, reminds me of uh, Hyrule Warriors with that ending there. The Warriors franchise is this high action, one verse a thousand, hack and slash gameplay. Oh yeah, isn't, isn't Hyrule Warriors like that? Or am I making that up? I guess that's like my point of reference. Alright, cool. Still kind of on the fence uh, about some of this, but... Uh, I'm going to try to cover up these squares with my various blocks of color and um, then I might try to put some items down. Uh, something I was thinking of, uh, you know how I use rings as buildings? I was sort of thinking of doing the same thing but in different colors for the foreground, like maybe doing some like pops of red rings and maybe they would from... The point of view of like where you're standing and the fact that it's a different color maybe it would look like it's not part of the city anymore but it's like a building over here like a barn or something like that or even a car like on the street because I don't know if we have like little miniature cars oh hey fizzy tea uh, things are going good I've had a Stranger Things filled weekend and getting cozy with this uh, meticulous experimental build. Uh, how's it been going for you? Hyrule Warriors is like Zelda characters with Warriors gameplay. Yeah, I think what I remember is that it was uh, made by a different company than usual. I don't think it was made by the usual Zelda people. Could, could be making that up though. <laughs> Oh, Stranger Things was so good. Uh, I'm excited that you've seen it, too. Yeah, I really liked it. It's gonna be torture waiting for season five, though. Uh, we were going around uh, telling our favorite Stranger Things characters earlier without any spoilers uh, for this season. Uh, what's your favorite Stranger Things uh, character, Fizzy T? I said mine was like uh, Nancy and Dustin and... Probably like 11 too.
I'm actually loving the direction of fire farmland in front. I've never seen a city overlook do that before. Oh, thank you. I can't take credit for it really though. I mean, I got it. I got the idea from uh, this reference image that's just like everything to me. Such a good reference image. Such a good art piece. What am I, what am I talking about? It's more than just a reference image. It's a work of art. Oh, but thank you, Mossy. That means a lot to me. Have you been uh, dabbling in your island much or playing Minecraft? Oh, okay. No wonder they named it Hyrule Warriors then. It was made by the Warriors people. Oh, you think a storm is approaching? I'm jealous. I always love a cozy storm. Sometimes they give me migraines, though. I've noticed every now and then, like, weather and changing weather and storms rolling in. It can give me migraines sometimes. <laughs> But I love the I love the idea of them. They're very cozy. Hmm. Wonder if I should keep this like a patch of dirt too. Cause uh, the thing is, uh, what I've been rambling about a little is that whenever I leave a patch of dirt, I'll be able to like plant stuff on it. But and all these like pattern ones that I'm doing, I won't be able to plant things. I hope they don't do it in two parts again. My favorites are Nancy, Steve, and Robin. Oh, that's cool. That's like the, the older crew. Yeah, I like them too. I like everybody pretty much. Okay, let's give this a, a shot and an overlook point of view here. And maybe we can start adding items. Oh yeah, and I still have to do like the actual lookout spot, like the spot that you're standing in to like even see any of this. I almost like forgot about that. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't look as <laughs> seamless as maybe I would want. I guess something that's an interesting thought is I've been using like paths and then like a transparent dot, but it is interesting to consider if maybe it would look like smoother, ironically, if you just kind of did it without like the space in between, but I don't know, that might look kind of abrupt, but... That's something to consider, that it might look better without like the overlaying on top of the in-game paths thing. All right, I'm gonna cut a little bit of a lookout point. Uh, I think it would be cool to start carving away like what I'm actually going to use as like where I'm standing when I look off on, onto the build. So I think this is like the money spot right here, like standing right around here. Maybe like one space over. <laughs> Gotta have my money angle. So the area that I create as like a lookout point to walk over to the edge, should like have this in the middle maybe. As for doing it in two parts uh, next time, yeah, at the end of the day, I'm not totally sure why they decided to do it in two parts. I'm not really sure what it added, but uh, I won't be a hater. Like, it, it was fine to do it in two parts. I, I didn't mind. It kind of gave me something to look forward to, but I do kind of wonder, because I thought it was going to be more than two episodes, and then it kind of surprised me when it was just two. I was like, oh, uh, so... <laughs> seems like less of a point. 
I just perused the AC and H toys. No cars. She can have a helicopter or a racetrack, though. Is there, is there like a little toy boat? Come on. Every bathtub has like a little toy boat. Like, AC and H is missing something. Missing something very essential. Have a toy ducky, but not a toy boat. Yeah, my little lookout point, I think it's gonna be like a street, sort of, or... Yeah, if you ever want to see my reference image, maybe y'all can let me know what you think it looks like. I think it looks kind of like a street, but maybe it's more like a cliff? Because it does look kind of rocky. So I'm not exactly sure what it is, but I'll probably put my like gravel design on top of it. Like this pattern is probably what I'll put on top. You found mini car things? Wait, really? Pocket vintage camper item? What do I search for? Camper? Oh, this is exciting. I'm kind of nervous. Do I have it? I guess I might not have it or something. I'll Google this, though. Pocket vintage camper item. Oh! How do you get that? Oh man, it comes in different colors too. I need it. <laughs> I thought I had a full pa I thought I had a full catalog. I have a spicy switch and I have been known to with a click of a button give myself a full catalog, so I'm I'm a little confusion why I do not have that. I'm like, what? <laughs> I thought I had everything. <laughs> I sound so spoiled. Like, why don't I have this item? You've been working on the area across the, the land bridge. Wow, you're making fast progress. You sound so quick. Uh, the last time I was talking to you, you were working on a different area. You were working on your villager residential areas, so that's so cool that you can bounce from spot to spot. I feel like I've been working on this build, like, for all my streams this week. Like, the ones I did Tuesday, and uh, I've just been, I've been working on this stream after stream for a little while now. I feel like it took a few streams to, like, get my feet under me and uh, it's always like that for like a new build for me. I think it takes me like a few days to get a feel for it and get into what I'm doing. Also, I want there to be a camper in front, so it's very ironic and cool that the item that Shy found is like a miniature camper because I want to like have a real camper in the foreground. Uh, I'm not totally sure how to look, but I know that I've seen them on uh, the face cutout standees that people do. Like, if you go over to this tab, yeah, you can make, like, campers out of these, like, face cutout things. Uh, so maybe we can browse some patterns together, do some code shopping, and, like, try to pick out a camper. I'd love like a cozy orange vintage looking camper or something like that. You get the camper van from linking your pocket camp to your ACNH using your Nintendo account. That reminds me of some other items, like I think the uh, fortune cookie cart and uh, some other things. Uh, I think the, the marketplace decoration, um, but for some reason when I searched for it in my catalog, I didn't see it. Even though I tend to, like I said, get spicy with my catalog. Uh, let's see if this is a good 
carved out spot for like a little cliff. I might have even made it too big uh, to make it just even more cozier. I should probably make it a bit smaller, but then again, I've got to fit the camper van on it. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I, might, I might shave it down a little bit. Oh, hi, Cloudy. Welcome in. Oh, wow. Shy. These are sick. I feel like I said your name like so enthusiastically. I was like, shy. That <laughs> probably sounded weird. Um, these are so cool. I want these. I want every one of them, except for maybe the hot dog one. And this one, and this one. Well, dude, why are these ones so goofy? <sighs> Whatever. I, I, I'll take this one, this one, this one, this one. <laughs> All the, like, non-goofy ones. I swear, I feel like I haven't seen this. Or wait, I think I've seen it in a dream address before. I need these. I need these the way that I don't have them right now and I need them. And hi Foggy, welcome in. How are you today? Are you having a good weekend? I feel like really refreshed today. I went to bed at like around midnight and woke up at, you know, 4.30 a.m. So <laughs> I'm kind of weirded out. Like, why am I so awake right now? Uh, it was probably because I had three days off. I feel like the afterglow of some time off or like the the period of time after a vacation, it takes a little bit for tiredness to catch up to you again. Um, you just get like all that extra rest like on multiple days off and then you, you feel good. It's like a reservoir you have like in your back pocket, um, even if you don't get enough sleep. You were pretty psyched to find them. Yeah, I can't wait to give myself some later or obtain them in some form or fashion. It would have to be in cheating sorts of ways because I don't really play Pocket Camp. So I uh, took it off my phone because I kept accidentally clicking on it and then it would take forever to load. And I was like, you know what? I don't play this anyway. Let's just get this off the old phone here. I guess it's the start of July, too. Um, it's uh, the first stream we've done in July. I had so much Chinese food living my best life. <laughs> I love that as a sentence. Had so much Chinese food living my best life. I think I've been living too much of my best life, GPV, if you know what I'm saying. I've been, like, eating lots of pizza. <laughs> so, can you go so far off the deep end of living off your- living your best life that it actually, like, backfires and it's not your best life anymore? <laughs> can you have too much of a good thing? But hey, I deserve it. I had some time off and Stranger Things week. I needed to celebrate. <laughs> Pizza is my favorite food for anyone who is new here and didn't know. Oh, okay. I think I could, I, may, I might have shaved it off like a little too much. Or maybe what I should do is instead of it being straight, I should make it a little curvy along the edges. So that's one thing I can do to help its with. Pocket cam takes up so much phone space. Yeah, I have like 10,000 pictures as well. <laughs> so I'm sure that takes up a lot of space too. Uh, how many pictures do you all have on your phone? I have, a, I have an absurd amount. 
I kind of like it though. I mean, I'm I'm too millennial to have like actual photo albums where I print out physical pictures. So sometimes I treat like scrolling as like looking through a photo album. I'll just scroll to a completely different year and look at what I was up to. And it really does bring back memories of like, oh yeah, this was this day. I forgot how to get the cooking recipes in ac &H. Does anyone else know how? Um, your villagers will sometimes be cooking in, in their house. So that's one way. Uh, you can also go to Happy Home Paradise if you own the DLC. And uh, you can at least purchase food there. I'm not sure if you can get recipes from there. Uh, another way is... You know the mystery island, the mystery islands um, that Cap'n takes you on. I think there's often recipes washed up on the beach. They might not always be food recipes, but I'm pretty sure I've gotten some that way. Oh, it's our song. I don't really know <laughs> if this is like the right dimensions for my lookout point. I think I'm getting close. Speaking of pocket camp, I'm so jealous of the new Ioni items. There are these new I items dedicated to Ioni and uh, a few people posted them in the Discord under the screenshot section. And they're so stunning. It makes me genuinely wistful that, like, I don't have them. They're truly magical, like, from a dream. Uh, definitely my favorite pocket camp furniture that I've seen. I want all my pocket camp friends to... I, I want to live vicariously through you. Uh, build lots of pretty stuff with the Ioni. <laughs> the Ioni items. I had to take a break on that overlook. I need to shuffle around some villagers and redo the exteriors to really be able to finish it. And I'm too lazy for that much ambition. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, sometimes I either need to take a break from or just like give more thought and brain power to a certain build. I've definitely been there. Just had some tiny yellow bell peppers. Mm. You have over 15k photos. I wish I had my phone with me. I could give the exact number. I low-key like don't know where my phone is right now, so that's cool. <laughs> have to do a Google Find My Phone later. I used that feature an embarrassing amount. Candiest invention of all time, to be honest. Google Find My Phone. Uh, we're gonna do a bit of a uh, code shopping because I forgot to scan in a camper design and I know they exist So let's just like take a little looks shall we see if we see anything camper Why is it all like t-shirts? <laughs> okay, here's a camper. This is sort of gray. I guess I could always scan it in a pinch uh, sure, I'll, I'll open these up. Oh, it comes in some different colors. Wait, is this a camper or a mobile home? I think this is like a mobile home. I, I want like a camper. You have like 3,000 photos, Lenore. Wish you had more, but your mom takes a lot at family events. Oh, that's good. Yeah, I take like entirely too many cat pictures. So here's a camper van. It's almost like maybe too cozy. <laughs> it's like not very post-apocalyptic looking. I don't know. I can open it. What the heck? Why not? Oh, thank you, Cloudy. I appreciate it. I think it still is like a little rough around the edges, but um, I really hope it'll look, look cool when it's all said and done. a hippie camper. Ooh, 
Ooh. This one's interesting. That one's weird. I mean, I'll open that one. That one's kind of weird looking. I like it though. Maybe I'll do this one just to like spare you all yet more <laughs> like scanning and stuff. Uh, I like this one, so we'll just do this one for now and I can always change it later. I just inhaled some sushi. So freaking delicious. I feel like I'm gonna explode. <laughs> uh, I've felt like that a few times this week, Katie. I'm glad we're all treating ourselves this week. Currently just 449 photos, but I just got a new phone a month ago and transferred my 10K over to my Dropbox. Wow, well, 449, that's that's pretty solid for a month shy, I have to say. I think you will be on your way up to 10K in no time. <laughs> Don't mean that in a bad way, it's nice to capture memories. I know you have a background in photography too. All right, I'm gonna do... Um... There we go. Sorry, my tabs are getting confusing. Um, I wish it would just, instead of opening a new tab, I wish it would just add something to an existing tab. A little bit of a complaint I have for the way the internet works. Like, that would be more convenient if it would just add something to an existing tab instead of like giving you a new one. You jealous of the sushi? I'm not a sushi person, but I am happy for Katie. She deserves it. <laughs> I don't know how to see how many photos I have on my phone. I've got an Android. Me too, Katie. We're fellow Android losers. <laughs> my phone has like a crack on it. I'm really sad. <laughs> Every time I look at my pictures, I have to like, I don't know, like if you're reading something and it's like right in, in the crack of what you're reading, it can kind of like distort things. I went through this phase where like I would fall asleep with like my phone in my bed and then like in the process of rolling around at night, like it would like fall off my bed and I think I cracked it like multiple times that way, but I've still been using it. I've heard you can get things like that repaired, but I don't know. I don't really get how that works. Do they just take the glass off and replace it? Uh, I'm trying to see what this looks like if I basically cover the whole thing in asphalt. And then like maybe once I have the whole thing covered in asphalt, I'll like create some holes for weeds or like bushes or... Because I want there, I think, to... I want there to be a few trees up here, some foliage. Can we get some foliage hype? <laughs> so I want to have some foliage up here. Most of your pictures are memes and dog and food photos. I always forget to take photos of my food. When I went to Manhattan Pizza this past week, I wanted to take a photo of my food. And then like, I didn't remember until I already ate a slice. And then I was like, well, you know, I can't take a picture of it now. I ate a slice. <laughs> so I always forget to take pictures of my food, but I wish I was more of that type of person. I think it's nice to remember memories. You remember when people used to make fun of millennials for taking pictures of their food? Do you all remember that, like, discourse in, like, old people being mad at young people type of article <laughs> like people were mad at millennials for taking pictures of food i don't know i feel like i don't hear about that anymore i think they've given up they've they've accepted our photographing ways
when you go to work it'll be 80% hair photos uh, that's really cool um, I like the idea or the concept that you help out your clients with hair photos mine were usually like what do you want <laughs> you know like bring your own picture <laughs> Do you um, like charge extra for like a consultation? Like this sort of hair will look good on you or are you just like a super pro stylist? So the ones I go to like aren't as pro. My phone is so sad. I've dropped it so many times. There's cracks everywhere. Oh, that is sad, especially for trying to watch Twitch on it. Uh, do you watch Twitch on your phone, Katie, through that, that cracked screen? I have a lanyard for my phone to hold on to it. <laughs> a lanyard for your phone. I love that. It's like super dedicated. Shy's like full of these life hacks. Lanyard for your phone. One time I was complaining about the fact that when I'm in bed, like with my phone or switch or something, and you have to like bend over all the way to the floor to pick up the cord. And then Shy was like, I use cord clips for that. <laughs> I put like little cord clips on my bed. So yeah, uh, that's my little title that I that I give you, like a like a knighting ceremony. You are the the life hack queen. Android phones are my favorite. Haven't had an iPhone for years. <laughs> yeah, something kind of funny about me is I was like indoctrinated into Android phones because like my dad would compete with Apple like at his company. <laughs> So it's like he, he works for like Qualcomm or something and he's like a competitor for, for Apple chips. So he, <laughs> I don't know, he always like talked trash about Apple and like would, you know, suggest us to get Androids instead. So I honestly, I think I'm, I might get an Apple next time though, because it feels like everyone makes apps for Apple and they don't make them for Android and that can really come in handy to have apps you know one of the perks of having a phone all right where do I put my webcam now this is in the way I am in the way chat maybe over here <laughs> in this corner I don't know right now you're watching on your laptop yeah, I do actually watch Twitch a fair amount on my phone, despite the, um, the crack issue. I have a special first-time client appointment that are longer and more expensive that include a sit-down time for consulting. Oh, cool. I also have just, like, consulting appointments for those who aren't ready to commit to a cut yet. Uh, I'm glad that it's a separate appointment. Uh, you deserve to be paid for thoughtful work like that. Are these teenager cedars or are these just regular cedars? I cannot tell. I know I think I have some teenager cedars over here. I'm like moving on to the foliage phase to some extent. So due to that, I'm uh, on the lookout for certain types of trees. Oh, these are definitely teenager treater. Teenager cedars. A bit of a tongue twister. Also, look at what I have in my pockets, y'all. For those of you that know my distaste for for the potato plant, I have some seed potatoes in my pockets. I was thinking maybe they could make aesthetic touches to the foreground, but I haven't used them yet. See if it comes in handy or not. <laughs> yep. If I had it my way, there wouldn't be potatoes on my post-apocalyptic planet. Then again, I'm trying to think of what crop would be my favorite, since I'm just such a carbohydrate person, like all about that bread. Like, <laughs> So I guess I would like the wheat. I mean, that's where bread comes from, right? Wheat. I don't know, I don't really make my own bread. <laughs> I think it comes from that, though. 
Not sure of the exact process involved. I need to find like a bigger tree. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe I should just do the teenager tree. Uh, let's, let's get a bigger tree just in case because now we're moving on to the foreground. So things are going to be a lot closer. Uh, by the way, I did um, yesterday, I finished my apartment simple panel designs and I was like, yay, I finished it. So now I should probably work on a new pattern. But I just was too nervous to start my railroad tracks underwater. Like that's going to be really difficult. That's going to like stretch my skills a little bit to do train tracks underwater. So I just didn't have the energy. So I did some terraforming. I don't know. I kind of did this. And then it goes off a waterfall and maybe I can do more cool stuff down there. So I've been experimenting a little with like terraforming back here. What if he made like an abandoned shack by the van? Oh, that's a really cool light bulb. Um, I guess it would be good to be creative and not just be totally basing it off the reference image and being open to inspiration. Uh, one of the perfect items for creating shacks in AC and H, I think, is like the storefronts. Uh, the storefronts are so cozy; they even like light up. And oh, look at Melba! Can we just appreciate this? Look at her little hat and her in her tote bag and her little toe beans. Melba. Oh, she looks cute. Look at her toe beans. Oh, I don't know if she has toe beans. She might just have like a circular thing like on the bottom of her foot. Oh, Mossy, you know your normal cedars from your teenager cedars. <laughs> I feel like cedars are really tall, so it kind of trips me up sometimes. Uh, like I can't remember. Like even the teenager cedars are kind of like tall to me. They're like as tall as a regular tree. So that's why I get those confused. You're the first streamer I've ever heard refer to them as teenager cedars. <laughs> oh, thank you. I like to think of it as one of my amyisms. I do have some weird ways of talking sometimes. <laughs> Maybe call them teen seeders or treaters. <laughs> so in my reference image, which uh, is exclamation point build, if you ever want to see it, uh, there's like this sign. Uh, I don't know if I can do that, but I could probably do something similar, like maybe a utility pole. Uh, utility pole would probably have similar vibes, but it's a shame I can't like hang a sign. Okay, let's try this. I don't know, that <laughs> might kind of hide parts of the build that are good to see too much, you think? Or maybe uh, it is a nice foreground thing. Not totally sure. Hmm. I do have an idea for another little bit of foliage though. Um, I really like the evergreen ash and its foliage potential. So I'm gonna like create a zone with which to um, have some evergreen ash leaves like peeking up in the foreground. So like maybe like a four by four, a two by two, whatever it is, like right around here, put an evergreen ash on it. I had yummy, pillowy, potato, delicious Piorgis for lunch today. Man, that's really ringing a bell for me, Shy. I feel like I've like heard of that before, but like also my brain let go of that information. Like I don't really remember like what that is, but like I've heard of it before. It's a very frustrating phenomenon when your brain does that to you, <laughs> when you like have heard of something before, but your brain has let go of that info of what it actually is. 
So I'm gonna have to stunt this, unfortunately. So need to have like some space behind it. Uh, Connor, thank you for the follow. Welcome in. Cedars are huge, which is both a blessing and a curse sometimes. Exactly. I think mostly, mostly a blessing, but it can definitely, like, have its downside sometimes. I love that your villagers hang out in the campground so much. Yeah, I wonder why they do that, and I wonder if they'll always do that or not, or if it's just because, like, all my houses are on the beach. Because uh, if you look at my, my baseball field... Uh, Connor, thank you for the biddies. Uh, if you look at my baseball field, it's kind of near like where all my residential villagers are on that side. So maybe that's why they hang out there. You had a PB and J. Not the most ceremonious meal, but definitely d gets the job done. I, I usually have that for lunch. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like uh, such a school child when I do it, but I usually pack a PB&J for, for lunch. Pure G's are like cheesy potato dumplings. Yeah, I feel like I've, like, heard about them in real life before, though, and I forgot. <laughs> Gonna go make Sunday breakfast, everyone. Maybe catch you all after. If I don't, hope everyone has a wonderful day and is happy and safe. Oh, you too. It was nice to have you here. Uh, thank you for being here, and I uh, hope you have a cozy Sunday morning and enjoy your breakfast. Okay, so this is this so far. Let's get out the utility pole. Uh, also, I guess I could experiment with some of the buildings I was going to add down there, or like the little cars, but then again, I don't have those special pocket camp camper cars yet, so maybe I should wait until I have those. And then I can go wild decorating the bottom part. Can you name all your villagers? And also, do you like Marina? Is this like a test? Like, can you name all your villagers? <laughs> um, I think I have a command for it. Let's see. Yeah, those are my villagers right now. I might replace Willow with uh, the mouse with the glasses from the latest update. What's her name? I don't know. Not coming to me right now. My brain. Oh, Petrie. Thank you, Katie. Oh, for a second I thought these were the pocket camp campers. Like, they look so similar, but they're not. Oh, hi, Therapy Crossing. Welcome in. How are you today? Petrie is so cute without her glasses. Yeah, she's a babe without her glasses. Not that she isn't also a babe with her glasses, but um, she kind of like has the, the like goofy like <laughs> red and blue glasses. Very like mad scientist looking. Uh, yeah, the utility pole is what I was looking for. We should also get some wheat fields out, like, while we're in here. I hope I've stocked up on my wheat fields. Because we're going to scatter these around the top. I think especially in the green color. Uh, the green is my favorite wheat field. Sucks that I only have, like, three of them, though. Damn. I guess the fact that it's my favorite is showing. Oh, look who's... 
Look up at the webcam for a live shot of Dusty meandering her way onto my bed. <laughs> should, we, should we say hi to her? Look at her. Oh, she's coming to say hi to you. She came to the edge of the bed. <laughs> she's saying hi. Isn't she cute? With her little checkerboard. God, she's adorable. I freak out over my own cat, I'm sorry. I wish I had my Switch with me. I could send you one of each of the Pocket Camp stuff. Oh, thank you, Katie. Kim! I'm like dancing because the Shampoodle song came up. Just in your honor, Kim. Kim, thank you so much for the 14 month resub. I really appreciate that and appreciate you. 14 months, that's over a whole year and such a satisfying number. Uh, your support really means the world to me, Kim. Uh, Kim is a fellow streamer too. A lovely human, uh, I like to always make that pun. <laughs> But yeah, go and check out Kim's channel, too, for more coziness. Uh, how have you been, Kim? You'll be disappointed to hear that I have continued to not remember to hydrate. <laughs> I still don't have, like, a water bottle ready or anything. Do y'all want to set up the cat cam since we have Dusty here? I just want to drop this utility pole real quick. This is going to hopefully be very satisfying. So let me just drop the utility pole. If I, if I have it. <laughs> I see some vote yeahs in the chat. Yay! I think the utility pole looks nice. Oh, yay! This looks so cozy! I like the utility pole. The utility pole is everything. And my webcam is covering it. Cool. Cool. Yeah, doesn't that look nice? I like it. Yay! But let's go and see Dusty. Oh god. <laughs> my webcam is like pointed at my freaking uh like I didn't set it up because there wasn't a cat on my bed. Y'all like my Fabergé egg? Don't I have a sick Fabergé egg? <laughs> You're looking at me. <laughs> it just looked like on the webcam that you were looking up in the into the sky, but you were looking at me. Oh, you're cute. Are you not gonna look at the camera? Oh, she waved at you all. She waved. Show your belly. <laughs> what a good girl you are. I love you. Oh, Kim redeems a cat treat. She'll be happy about that. I'll be right back. She's gonna know too. She's gonna look intently where I disappear. <laughs> She's gonna know. Oh wait, I forgot. I actually got them ahead of time. So now we just get to see her reaction to the plastic bag. I forgot that I actually got them already. That reaction.
I love how she wastes like no time at all. <laughs> she would she would totally win like some sort of cat like race contest for eating. She eats so fast. Uh, do y'all's cats like eat fast like Dusty does? I feel like she's something else in that regard. <laughs> she eats so quickly. Uh, thank you for the treats, Kim. Felt like Dusty arrived right when you uh, came in with your resub. Dusty came in to give her thanks. <laughs> <laughs> no, she's probably gonna like settle down or take a bath or something like that. We'll keep an eye out with what she does. <sighs> I was really happy with how this like little piece turned out. I feel like that turned out really cool. And now I can just imagine how it would look with like the camper. I feel like I, um, got something a little in my throat. I might go get something to drink, but y'all won't complain about more dusty time, right? So while I go and get some water or something similar, Kim will be proud of me. Kim's always reminding me to hydrate. <laughs> Let me, uh, show you all dusty. I'll be right back. I'm just going to get some water or something.
Oh, I'm sorry for being muted, y'all. Uh, that happens sometimes when I go to break. Thank you. <laughs> it's um, a bad habit, I think, because uh, I don't always take a break. Um, yeah, sorry about that. What I was saying is that I want to scan in a camper pattern, but I don't see like a... Oh no, I don't really see like an MA for this orange one. Let me show you all what I'm talking about. It's like I'm uh, wanting to scan this in and I don't see an MA for it. Aww. Maybe if I go to the Twitter it's from, maybe it'll have the MA like on Twitter. Yay! Okay. Oh no. <laughs> this is complicated trying to track this down. Uh, but this looks like to be an awesome creator. Just gotta figure out where the MA is for the, um, the camper van. Wow, lots of cool designs. Oh, I don't see it yet. Must have made this a long time ago. Ah, uh, jeez. <laughs> I wonder if I should just try one of their other MAs and it's like maybe like the same one. Like, what about this? Should I just try this one? I guess I'll, I'll try it. We'll see. Oh, hi, Serenity. How's it going? Welcome in. Are you having a good weekend? I'm scanning in this MA right here. I'm trying to scan in like a camper van. Please, please, camper van manifest. Also, when I came back from um, my break, I was also talking to y'all who were responding to my question of like, do your cats like eat as fast as Dusty does? Uh, it sounds like some of y'all's cats do. We should have like a cat food race contest. See who comes out on top. Oh, Susan! Katie! Simi. Oh, I'm just seeing some new people who came in the chat. Katie, thank you so much. Oh uh, gosh, a full year. So happy to have wow. found your channel, Amy. So proud to be part of the forest fam of forest hug of forest love. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is so cool. A forest love. Oh, a forest love to you too, Katie. Uh, thank you so much for a full year with the Forest Fam, and uh, thank you tons as well uh, for that extra support at Tier Two. It really means a lot to me. I'm so happy to have met you, and so happy to have you here too. Um, I really, really appreciate it. And thanks for the 500 bits too. I was laughing because it came like right after your alert. It kind of sounded like it was in celebration. It was like Katie's 12 month resub. And that was like, boom, boom. <laughs> it was like a celebration. Uh, so I loved that. Uh, thank you so much. Simmy, Susan, welcome in. So many friends here. How are you all doing? Uh, have anyone has anyone else been like obsessed with Stranger Things this weekend? Or what are you relaxing with this weekend? What are you eating? Another popular topic of discussion here in the Forest Fam. Like what's everyone eating? <laughs> I had on the border today, so I had some, you know, Americanized Mexican food. 
I'm still trying to find this camper. I'm like losing hope. It was the most gorgeous camper design I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> no, I can't find it. It's like somewhere on this Twitter. But this person is epic and has made like a million things. So like I can't find which one was the camper. Ah, uh, geez, uh, this looks kind of similar, but like a little different. You were getting your DoorDash food. Someone told me about the mute. Oh, thanks for letting me know, y'all. I'm sorry I did that. <laughs> you finished Stranger Things today, uh, Steeler fan? I watched it. I, I was like a bit crazy and I stayed up till 3 a.m. to watch the first episode and then I watched uh part of the second episode at like that 3 a.m. time period but like I couldn't last so I decided to save like the rest of the second episode till the next morning uh there were some long episodes ah oh, geez I'm like losing hope <laughs> Semi oh Simi, thank you for the hundred bitties. Uh, it was really sweet to get that uh, little cheer like right as I was losing hope. Uh, thank you for the support, Simi. Uh, how have you been doing over there in Australia? Oh man. Okay, I I think I think I just have to give up. I'm so frustrated. It's like right here. Like it's right here. I just I just need to know what the MA is. So like this is the credit. Did anyone drop the MA? Okay. <sighs> Alright. I'll I'll try to do another one. I, I guess I can't do that one right now. I don't know what it is. How about this one? This one looks pretty good, too. Yeah, it's ironic now that I went to, like, all this trouble and angst when there was, like, a perfectly good one right below. <laughs> I feel kind of silly. This one's fine, too. Uh, I could see myself using it. It has that nice, like, vintage look to it. Uh, I think it matches some of the orange, like, autumn colors that are in this build, even. Like, I think... This could be good as well, so maybe I don't have to worry about that other one. Um, I've never really built one of these before though, so I'm kind of nervous that I don't know how to like illusionistically put it together. Like I guess I need to hide the windows and I need to like have some sort of roof, but uh, we'll see how it turns out. Yay! I'm so happy. I finally have my camper. Whew, that was a journey. You're doing all right, Simi? Very rainy and cozy here at the moment, cuddling up with cats and games and on the couch. Best activity ever. Oh, I feel you. Uh, I think there was this one day that I had all of those same things going on. It was rainy, it was cozy. I was playing games, I had like a cat with me, it was just like the perfect combination of vibes. Uh, so I'm kind of jealous, but also happy for you. Uh, we were talking about accents at the beginning of Stream Simi, I'm not sure how it came up. I think I was talking about like actors who are British who can do like American accents even for like you know, extended character roles and just sound so convincing and <laughs> so um it was it was funny to talk about like uh, Australian accents and British and American and how they're all different and what their quirks are. Um I've heard you talk before in voice chat. I love your voice. Uh let's see if we can um put this camper over here. Oh, I'm nervous. I'm afraid it's not going to look good. <laughs> oh no, oh no. Please. 
Australian accents are hard. I guess it's easy for you. <laughs> but yeah, I can, uh, I can feel that. I struggle with uh, British and Australian accents a fair amount, but uh, probably the one I can do best is like an American Southern, just having been exposed to it the most. Um, I'm in a state where uh, like the mountainous region, like people talk more country, but um, where I'm at, like I'm in kind of a more urban area, so people don't have those accents as much, but... I'm a little confused. Is this correct? I guess so. The the front looks like a little bit I don't know. <laughs> it doesn't look as good laid out as it did in the picture. Ooh, shy, you have one saved. Yeah, sure. Feel free to um, share the link in chat. I trust you, or you can always post it on Discord. <laughs> You've heard my southern accent attempt. I do best when other people give me uh, sentences to say, though. I'm not really, like, <laughs> good on the fly. So what should I cover up the windows with? Hmm. I'm like a little unsure about that. Short simple panel is too short. Simple panel is too tall. Umbrellas would probably be too bulky. So is there something elegant that would be a good window cover? Pardon me in my ignorance. I've never built a camper before. I don't really know like all the ins and outs of it. Uh, anyone have any tips for uh, covering up the inside of like the windows of a camper? Like what people tend to do? Um, I think maybe my instinct is to do black simple panels because I'm sort of thinking that even if you can see the black simple panels on top, maybe it would just look like the top of the bus. It might not really look all that, like, weird because it would just maybe be like a black line at the top of the bus. So I guess that's what I'm going to do. The city skyline though. Oh, thank you, Simmy. I'm glad you like it. It's been kind of a long build so far and it's still not even done yet, but I really hope it turns out all my wildest dreams in the end. I hear some fireworks outside. It's like a little bit distracting, but I guess that's uh, July 4th for you. It's not July 4th though, but <laughs> I guess it's close enough for some people. I've always kind of wondered the psychology behind, like, I don't know, like the June, se the, the, the July 2nd fireworks or like, you know, doing it July 5th. Like, why do people do it on days that aren't July 4th? <laughs> there were so many people buying uh, fireworks at Costco today. Uh, we were selling them. I've always been so afraid of those things. Like... I've heard some horror stories of like people getting really injured with like those those hand fireworks. Uh, I'll do them at Animal Crossing, but I'm not gonna <laughs> not gonna do them in real life. Uh, good night, Lolita. Thank you for being here. Uh, thanks for staying up late with us. I've seen people do simple panels to look like windows, put plants or objects that look like items inside of a house. Yeah, I think one thing that might affect me is that currently this camper is like in, it's like behind you. So I feel like I can't do the whole like items in a window thing. Oh, 
Oh, thank you, Simmy. I buried, I burned my hand with a sparkler that had the metal hand handle. It stung so bad for a bit. Oh, geez. I'm sorry that happened. Uh, I hope you didn't have anything lasting from it, right? There's fireworks going off around here right now. It's annoying. <laughs> I like fireworks, but only when I can, like, see them. <laughs> Same. I feel like a lot of us, like, online folks, like, we all come together and just bond over being annoyed by the fireworks. It's, like, one thing I've noticed. Like, a lot of us are animal lovers and our animals, like, get, get afraid of the fireworks, too. I don't think Dusty really cares, though. <laughs> Should we check up on Dusty? I think maybe her ears might be going. I, she might be kind of looking around. She might have heard it. Those ears look kind of perked up and alert. But she doesn't seem too concerned. I need some customization kits. Uh, so I guess I'll just grab a few from here. <laughs> we all have uh, fireworks here. Yeah, I don't really do a lot for 4th of July. I um, went to go see fireworks when I was younger, but I would say fireworks have definitely like lost their hype for me. I feel kind of bad about it, but <laughs> I've, just, I've kind of like seen too many of them over the years and I was like, mm, I, can, I can do without them. Like even the big fancy ones. I feel like such a bah humbug. I feel like such a, a Grinch. So let's customize these to black. Got this awesome like black pattern. It comes in so much handy. <laughs> Did the Pinterest link work? Oh, I didn't see it. But now I see it. Ooh, that is a very decayed looking camper. <laughs> Oh man, those are some rough quarters. Um, thank you for sharing those, Shy. I'll have to see which one fits the best in the foreground, which one brings out the vibes. Uh, I appreciate you helping me out though. That's really sweet of you. Oh man, the, the audience for fireworks and chat continues. <laughs> I hope y'all aren't too bothered by it. And I hope those of you that don't hear fireworks, like folks from other countries, I hope you can't hear it through my mic. I hope it's remaining outside the range of my mic. I used to always go with my mom, but now I don't care about them at all. Yeah, I feel bad. I don't, I, I'm not super big on them. It reminds me of my Shire themed island though, how I wanted to finish it and experience fireworks in the Shire and like pretend Gandalf was setting them off at Bilbo's birthday party and uh, so I am kind of remembering that. I guess the fireworks in AC Nature are usually in August I think. So coming up, I sort of see August as like the tail end of summer maybe because when I was in school usually like we went back to school around August or September uh, it's still really hot though in August <laughs> fireworks definitely not as enjoyable anymore as an adult yeah feels like a lot of us are in the same boat <laughs> Maybe that's why people like the handheld ones. Like, I guess it's a lot more hands-on and in your face and like right in front of you. Oh, hi, cryptids. It's good to see you. Thanks for being here. You agree about the fireworks? Ah. Okay, I'm so nervous about this. Like, I really want this to 
vibe, but I'm like, oh no. Oh no. It hurts. It's like way too big. So sad. Do you think maybe a short, simple panel would work, ironically? And it, like, it wouldn't work from this angle, but it would work from like this angle? Jeez, I don't know. The only other thing I'm thinking is that instead of having it right here, I could try to put it down below. Like I could put it on a lower tier. So that way I won't have to like mess with the perspective flaws as much. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm trying to like put it right here. And maybe it's like not a good perspective for it. But I'm gonna try short simple panels real quick because I think I have them handy. Have you ever watched the Sydney Harbor fireworks on New Year's Eve? They're pretty spectacular, but usually, yep, I agree, lost their appeal. <laughs> Are we all just too old? Yeah, uh, there's stuff that I really love the idea of too, but have kind of like lost a little bit of their excitement over the years too. Um, like definitely Christmas for me, especially since I have a retail job. Well, I only have one black simple panel, but I'm gonna see if... I'm gonna like test it before I try to get more, see if it works okay. Also, I'm tired of running to nooks, so I'm gonna see if I have a craft station in here. Um, I remember though that uh, sometimes on New Year's Eve, Simi, uh, we would watch like this station that would cut to different fireworks like across the world like it would show oh it's new year's eve in hong kong or it's new year's in britain in london and uh they would kind of like cut to different scenes so i, I think i've kind of seen that before but i don't know if i specifically specifically remember that Even New Year's Eve <laughs> isn't quite as hype as it used to be. <sighs> Here we go. Yay. Either that or maybe an umbrella. Yeah, I'm kind of scared about the umbrella, but I'll try it if I continue to be having trouble. Oh, hi, Katesy. Oh, you're so sweet. Thanks for your lurk. Tempting to get a, your life together on this beautiful Saturday evening. <laughs> Why is that such a mood? I've been meaning to do some like deep cleaning that I've been putting off. I need to get some stuff together on my end too. Uh, best of luck and productive vibes. And I love that uh, cloudy emote. That's so cute. Let's see, I'm gonna try this short, simple panel now. Please, please, please. <gasps> huh? Oh my god. That's good. Ah! Ah! Does it, does it, <sighs> no. <laughs> I'm so sad, but like also happy that it looks okay from this angle. No. <laughs> uh, let's try a stall uh, as the roof. Almost perfect. Yeah, that's gonna bug me because I mean, ideally you would want it to look good from more than just one angle, like from the back, but um, yeah, ouch. What am I doing? Oh yeah, stall. Not the deep cleaning. <laughs> yeah. Thank you for the productive vibes. And oh, I'm glad you like the build so far. Uh, Y'all are being really nice about it. I 
feel like it does look really rough around the edges, but I really appreciate everyone's support and for being here while I try to work on it. Uh, what am I looking for? Okay. I got like amnesia for why I was in here. Not once, but twice. How does that even happen? Like, normally you just forget like when you go into your storage, but that time I forgot as I was scrolling my storage as well. <laughs> I forgot twice. So, this is white. I can't really... <gasps> Oh, this orange and silver might be cool. Cause, cause the, cause it's orange, you know. <laughs> so this might be cool. Might need another one. Did I get more than one out? Well, I guess first we'll just test it. We'll see what it looks like. Uh, I just thought of something, y'all. Um, if maybe, like, I really don't want the camper to be visible from far away, maybe I could, like, sort of put some trees in the foreground so it just sort of emphasizes, like, hey, you're more, more meant to see it from the overlook. Uh, so that's an interesting idea. Wait. I'm so confused. <laughs> what are people using if it's not a stall? Did I put it backwards? Is that it? Or do people just take the pictures from far away? Damn it. I think that's what they do. They like take it from over here. The Kekropi hallways is about the same height and you can put stuff on it. Or maybe the back of a retro train stop. Ooh, thank you for the suggestions. Let me see if I have any of those. Here's a random idea. Is the fridge or maybe the server the same height? Oh, those are good ideas. Might actually as well, like give it some width, you know, like uh, make it not look so paper thin. It could give it some bulk. Uh, yeah, I feel like I should try that maybe. I'm gonna look to see if, the, if we have those items that uh, Mossy suggested though. CDFG, HI, JK. Oh. No. <laughs> well, you suggested another one too, the, the retro train stop. I know I have that. I have like lots of those. Nook just gave us the campers on Harv's Island. <sighs> yeah. Those uh, campers that Katrina and them have, they're such like a tease. <laughs> hmm. This is like an interesting little item. Uh, I could also try this, like Mossy said. No! <laughs> what am I supposed to get rid of? Perfect for a chonky train. We like our trains thick. Okay, why why do I have all these? I'm gonna I'm gonna um, throw shade. I'm gonna get rid of the potatoes only. <laughs> they probably look aesthetic in the ground though. I don't really know like what all these things look like off the top of my head. I haven't created a lot of farms, but 
Uh, do y'all have like a favorite farm crop aesthetically? Like I'm not just talking about food and like, you know, liking carrots versus potatoes, but which one do you think looks best in the ground? Because we're all about aesthetics here. I actually prefer pears to apples as far as taste goes. But as far as aesthetics, it's all about them apples. Uh, it's a little taller than I thought. I thought this was going to be shorter for some reason. Why, why is this so tall? Um, hmm. Katie suggested that a uh, refrigerator or like something that's like thick. Do you mind if I item hunt for something on my spicy switch? Can I do that? Uh, let's like look for possible items to like fill this window hole. I don't want to give up on the camper quite yet because like this was a, an important part of the build and its coziness for me. Like, I guess I will give up on it eventually. If it continues to just not be workable, but I've only just gotten started and experimenting. So I just want to try it a little bit longer. Uh, let me see what I have in here. Uh, this is my... One of my storage characters on this island, uh... Like, they have, like, lots of city items, so maybe one of these will be helpful. Can we start from the top, though? Like, <laughs> why am I at the bottom? That bugs me. <laughs> Wish I knew the number of that Tater Hate quote. That's what we have shy for. That would be great if we could have those campers. We got a few vehicles, but they could have taken it further. You're right. That's making me very wistful now. I would have heckin' loved a camper, but I guess I shouldn't be greedy. They did give us so many other vehicles, like trucks and a variety of different cars. I remember being how hyped, how hyped I was by those, but also how, like, weirded out I was to see like all these cars in Animal Crossing. <laughs> I think I've gotten more used to them, but th it was very surreal at first. It was like, what am I, what game am I playing? Am I in The Sims? Uh, I'm switching over to the screen just so uh, I can see everything, even if it is like a little smaller. Maybe I'll even withdraw some stuff and like test it out on panels in this island. Ooh. Just like looking for possibilities for things that will cover the windows and maybe also give the camper van some thickness like this these box corner sofas are an interesting idea too I think yeah especially an orange so you're uh, favorite aesthetic plants are tomatoes. Yeah, this is my, um, <laughs> this is my Candylands Island. I need to item hunt too. Struggle bussing with my castle bridge. Not the struggle bussing. I hope you can figure it out. It is kind of frustrating when you have a vision or you have some sort of idea for how you want something to look or behave, an illusion you want to try to achieve, and then it's like really hard to get it how you want. Ah, these changing rooms. Hmm. They have kind of like a hollow top though. I bet that'll look weird. Uh, 
I think this construction scaffolding is like really big. Uh, the counter table could maybe be interesting. Oh shit. <laughs> oh man, I'm sorry if you heard that, y'all. Hey Klutz Gaming. Hi Haunted Cheeseburger. Thank you for the raid, friends. Uh, how was your stream? Uh, my name is Amy and we're working on a city skyline build today. So if you like urban core or cozy decorating, uh, definitely feel free to join us, but also take care of yourself after that stream. Oh, I'm glad you had a good time. Welcome in. My name is Amy. If I didn't say that already, I kind of <laughs> I don't remember if I introduced myself or not. Uh, we're scrolling through looking for items. I hope it'll all make sense shortly. Probably looks very like low on context right now. <laughs> Uh, stream's been going good. We've had a productive day of uh, working on this new build. Uh, I have a post-apocalyptic island and we have like a city skyline that we're working on. I guess the flower display case is kind of tall and thick. It would sort of look like I had flowers on in the windows though, but uh, that's an interesting idea. Yeah, we're like halfway through our scrolling, if you see that scroll bar there. <laughs> halfway through. The diner sofa could work. Oh, you think so? I wonder if it would be too short. The loft bed. Hmm. Sometimes people use this as like a top of something. I wonder if this is like worth at least trying. Probably not the cardboard boxes. I don't think those would work. Hmm. I wonder if these would be like taller than the like simple panels, but like, or taller than the short simple panels, but like sh shorter than the regular simple panels, if that makes sense, like somewhere in the middle. I keep thinking I've like reached the bottom because I keep seeing like random <laughs> flowers and stuff, but then uh, there's still more to scroll. Oh, the servers, we could try this. snack machine that might be an interesting height if you like turn it backwards I don't know I can't remember like how tall anything is to save my life so I'm just gonna like grab some stuff I wonder if this is an interesting height too whatever it's worth a shot <laughs> just grabbing anything and everything Love the GameCube music. Yeah, is this back to like our Donkey Kong or something? I don't know, I feel like it might be Donkey Kong. Oh, looks like Dusty's settled down. Oh jeez, could you see me? <laughs> she, she looks so 
surprised, doesn't she? Also, hi. Creepy wave from the back. You have everything. <laughs> yeah, I do have a lot of stuff in here. She looks surprised, doesn't she? She looks disconcerted. Dusty! You can see like my little setup. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Might be getting self-conscious from the awkwardness of the angle here. This is weird. Alright, so what I wanted to do, this is like very, very low context for anyone new coming in, but I have like this camper van out of simple panels or whatever the hell these are. I think they're actually, they're, they're face cutout standees, but I always call them simple panels. And I want to be able to cover up the holes without it looking weird. So I got these items out for this purpose. I don't know what'll work and what won't. So this will be interesting to experiment. Uh, so here's the teacher's desk. No, that doesn't work. Box sofa. It's like way too short, but I think I have seen people use like the box sofas maybe as or like the diner chairs. I don't know. I think some people use this as like a front of the van. Which that's probably not too bad. There's some of these odd items. The deluxe washer. Ah, that's probably the best thing so far. but probably not good, probably not the right height. Oh. <laughs> I don't know, that might look kind of weird. What do y'all think of this one? Maybe turned like backwards, so it's just like the black Oh, I guess there is no backwards. <laughs> it's just like flower all the way around. So there's no part that like looks plainer than the other part. All right, darn, I had hope for that one. I thought that one might come in handy. Uh, let's try the loft bed. Uh, what's cool about the loft bed is you can kind of like customize the bed part. Like you can change the the bedding so it can match the rest of it uh, but I don't know if I like that refrigerator ooh this is what Katie suggested I don't really like the back of this particular refrigerator but that's not a bad height at all I don't think servers Hmm, is the server the answer, possibly? <gasps> Maybe? All right, let's try it. Let's try the server. Yeah, they're, they're kind of flush. They kind of fit together. I love how it was like the last item I tried. <laughs> it's like typical, like go figure. All right, so here's that like much needed context. Where did this pattern go? I hope the servers look good. Hmm. 
you kicked it because of course. <laughs> I know, I just like, I don't remember doing that. I don't really have like the box sofa thing, but uh, that might be an interesting like front of the of the camper. Yay, my beloved servers. Let's see if this works. More GameCube music. I love the whimsical vibes of music from that Animal Crossing. Me too. I think it's like the best Animal Crossing soundtrack. <laughs> I'm a little sad that I'm just uh, so obsessed with uh, the newer games that I don't know if I see myself returning to GameCube. I wish they would like have a way to revisit this music uh, in this game. Hmm. No. <laughs> no. <sighs> it's like a little taller than I wanted. I don't know if I have much more strength. <laughs> I don't know if I can keep doing this. Okay, the last thing I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try an ABD. Oh, hi, frog. Welcome in. How are you today? Hope you're having a good weekend. Akira vibes. I don't really know what that is. I can always Google it though. Is that like a medium, a show? Oh, it's like a, yeah, it's either a manga or a film. I'm getting two different results. Okay, so there's this ABD item. I don't know if it comes in black. I don't know if there's a black ABD, but I think it's a little shorter than this server thing. So it just depends on if it's flush or not. And by flush, I mean like it touches. <gasps> oh my God. Please. No! <laughs> Screw you, ABD! You would have been perfect. We could have had it all. Rolling in the deep. I'm so mad. <laughs> God, that's the perfect height. It's freaking perfect. I'm not over this. I need therapy. <laughs> oh man. They should like make a list. Like what are the flush items in the game? The game, the, the items in the game that don't have a gap in between them. Like please compile a list. We need to have a comprehensive list of such items so that heartbreaks like that don't happen. Oh man, I don't know what to do. I'm, I'm distressed. You think it kind of works? <laughs> Simmy. <laughs> Charitable Simmy. Sweet Simmy. Okay, any other flush items? I'm pretty sure these aren't flush, and they're also really tall. Uh, do what? Do I? Do I try this? No, I mean it has like a hollow top, but whatever. I'm gonna withdraw it anyways. I'm desperate. We could stack record bo boxes on top of each other or cube lights on top of each other. We could do something like that. The top of the record box is weird though because you know it has like records in it and stuff. Maybe you could customize the records <laughs> so that they're like all black or something. You could have like a goth record collection and like all the, the records are black. 
I don't know. I'm just spitballing here. Look at your skyline. What else is an ABD height? Good question. I thought the ABD was kind of a unique height. Like it was like in the middle. That was one of the bonuses about it. Yep, we're dropping stuff. Could be like truck modules. Yeah, I mean, to play devil's advocate, Simi, I was thinking I could put something skinny. Like, if it matched the height, I could put something skinny in between to sort of like plug some of the hole. Like, I don't know if something like this would work. So, you know what I'm saying? If it was the same color. It would still look kind of weird from here, but... I don't know, that might be a solution. Maybe we figured it out. Maybe like a short, simple panel behind the ABDs. Maybe that's all we need. Because I'm pretty sure a changing room is going to be hollow. Yeah, and look weird AF. What else is, uh, let me, let me take a uh, Shai's advice here though and come and look at what's similar to the ABD size. Yeah, unfortunately I think the ABDs are unique. It's like all these gray ones with the black bottoms. It's kind of a unique size. You think this has potential, Shai? Yay. Let's go see if uh, there are black ABDs. Oh, so it was a manga first and then a film, uh, Mossy? I feel like uh, you'd be fun to talk media with. I feel like you've seen uh, a lot of cool stuff. Uh, you like your your shows and your music and your art. Uh, what are some of your favorites, Mossy? If you wanna, <laughs> if you wanna go into any of those. Akira was very influential. Yeah, it says it's a cyberpunk post-apocalyptic manga, so very similar vibes. Uh, if you're curious about the um, the build. The, the the inspiration for the build uh, that's the link to the image and uh, Mossy found the artist on Instagram for us and I was absolutely just blown away by their art it was so satisfying to find their actual page they have amazing art um, I wish I was trying to find it like under my recently followed or something, but I guess there's no such thing on, on Instagram. <laughs> hmm. I think I found them. So maybe while I'm uh, checking on the ABDs real quick, uh, let me show off this artist. Uh, this is the artist that did the thing that I'm drawing inspiration from, and they have some other stuff, like this is clearly very cyberpunk. Same style. Oh my gosh, is that Home Alone right here? Sorry. I think this is like Home Alone. <laughs> They're still enjoying Home Alone in the post-apocalypse. Ah, uh, this looks kind of post-apocalyptic and Fawn Hollow-esque. Someone like standing here. Uh, I just really love this artist. I'm glad I found them. God, this is so sick. 
feel like I'm saying like sick more. Like maybe I'm watching like too many shows where people use that. Like, oh, that's sick, dude. I'm like saying that more than I used to. Oh, I want to show you all what I just did. I, I just very innocently and ignorantly, I went to this ABD and I, and I hit this button on my on my controller I for a second I thought it was gonna tell me what colors it came in like a dumbass uh, okay <laughs> I'll google it then ABD AC and H oh it doesn't come in black okay well that kind of screws things up too to be honest moment of silence for the ABD not coming in black. Oh, and hi, Rafa. You're in the mood to make your island like Suncomb? <laughs> That's my wild world town. Yeah, Shy, I'm really sad about it. <laughs> this game doesn't want me to win. Well, I'm trying to figure out if there's some way around this, or I guess I could just um, look through every item in the game later and try to find like better flush items. What if you made the windows blue? I was definitely thinking about that, Katie. I was like, well, could you have green windows for slime or moss? <laughs> it has to be a roof as well, though. So it's like maybe I could try to find some sort of camper pattern that goes like either with gray windows or like blue or yellow or red or green any of the colors that the ABD comes in the silver doesn't look the worst at least in this light True. Um, I'm all, I'm almost Katie. I mean, I'm almost even more worried about the simple panel because I can't use another pattern on like a plain color like that. Like I need to stop using slots on like just simple stuff. So uh, maybe I'll look through the Abel's designs and see like if Abel, like please God, like have a plain gray. Okay, I know. <laughs> I don't even think I have them all. <laughs> all right, those, those, those are our options there. I guess there's this concrete. There's this thing. Does that look like a window? That, even that looks kind of like a window from the right angle, but ah, uh, yeah, this concrete, I'm eyeing it because it's at least gray. Yay! Okay, well, let's do this. If I have to make my own freaking camper with gray windows, I will do it, man. I will do it. <laughs> I, I was hoping to use someone else's camper design, but if I have to make my own, I will. I'm not, a, I'm not afraid to dabble. So uh, I'm gonna get these short, simple panels out, customize them to the concrete. We're gonna use the ABDs. <laughs> so I'm sorting through my storage, just look at Dusty with her one eye at you. Oh. Stretching out her paw to you. Uh, 
All right, now this song feels more appropriate for the hour. It's getting a little late. Oh, she looks so cozy. Where she looks so like content right now. What would you say is Dusty's mood like at this angle? Like what is she manifesting? What is she representing? I can't really decide if she's sleepy or just like, <laughs> cause she doesn't have her head down like she would be if she was sleeping. She's got like her head up, but she's just like vibing. Okay, so here's the concrete. I've also got these weird things. Hmm. All right, well, maybe I'll try this weird thing right here. Her vibe is contently vibing. Did you not like the stall as the back of the camper? Yeah, I actually didn't um, because it looked weird from the angle that I'm standing at right now. Uh, it looked weird from that angle for some reason. I think we have a caption winner, perhaps. Uh, Shy suggests sleepy but alert for possible treats. Oh, and Mossy suggested that too. You all both like said the same thing. Wow, that must be her vibe then. <laughs> that must be the mood. Okay. Huh. I don't know. I was hoping it would bridge the gap a bit more, you know what I'm saying? Like I was hoping it would fill in. I think if it was black, it really would fill in a lot better. Like that's the frustrating thing. I think since it's gray, like it's not doing as good of a job of just masking the whole thing in one color. But if the ABDs were black and if these simple panels were black, I bet it would work. Uh, that's what's annoying about it. What do you mean I need materials? <laughs> I hate these customization kits. I'm glad I have some in storage. <laughs> Is Dusty frozen? Is she okay? She's not moved. Oh, and hi, cutie. Welcome in. Oh wow, I noticed when I customize it to the concrete, it like changes the color of the leaf. That's kind of weird. Uh, I have a feeling I can figure this out somehow, whether it's like... A different color ABD or just like a different item altogether. Is there like a two space wide item that's this exact height? I mean, that would be perfect. What about the wooden bookshelf? I haven't thought of that at all. That's like a nice skinny sort of half space item. Um, does that come in black? The wooden bookshelf? Have you tried the compact kitchen? 
Unfortunately, I don't think I have that, but I might have something like that, perhaps, in my spicy island. Wow. Well, the compact kitchen comes in black, so that could maybe work um, if I had like a black ABD. I'm really curious about this wooden book, this wooden bookshelf idea. I don't know if I have one, but I'm very curious now. I don't remember how tall they are. Oh, man, I don't have one. What kind of Animal Crossing player am I where I don't have a wooden bookshelf? Like, who am I? It's like one of the most essential items of all time. <laughs> How do I not have that? Okay, back to the spicy island temporarily. Sorry, my thing kind of flickers when it doesn't have a switch in it. Although this island isn't good to test because it has like a weird angle. That's not like my in-game angle. The wooden bookshelves are pretty tall. Damn. Maybe they won't work then. There's this one where they didn't do the roof and just foliage it. Yeah, I do really like it, but um, I think the angle, everyone takes pictures of their campers like from a certain angle and like mine's not gonna be from that angle. It's like, and it's like behind you when you're standing. So I think I have to keep that in mind. <laughs> Are you laughing at me? <laughs> okay, wooden bookshelf. Uh, is this what you're talking about, Katie? Hmm. I feel like that would be really tall. Oh, I don't want to scroll all the way down here. I guess I have to though. I'm such a baby about scrolling and <laughs> it really doesn't take all that long. I'm such a whiner. Look how fast we're going. Is this? I guess I don't have the wooden bookshelf in this island either. I'm kind of like weirded out at myself. I thought this was one of the most important items ever. I don't know why I don't have it in my storage. Um, maybe I just dropped it outside instead. It could be that like it's ground storage on this island. I'm sorry this has turned into a game of like, we have to figure out this camper, but sometimes Animal Crossing be like that and um, one helpful thing about doing it on stream is that uh, we can bounce suggestions off each other, so uh, thanks for your patience and sorry about the struggle. Yeah, I don't really keep books on me. <laughs> uh, but thank you, Katie. I remember back when that used to be something to stock up on, like stocking up on your books. <sighs> I'm 
meringue please can <laughs> I'm like so done done I'm like meringue get out of the way yeah this item's really tall I bet it's not gonna work you can get it like a little closer though yeah that's probably too tall hmm Please be flush, please. <laughs> oh man, that's not even close to flush. That is like so far apart. That's like insulting. <laughs> that is, wow. Wow. Oh my god, I'm in shock by how far apart those were. Uh, this is too big. <laughs> Thanks for feeling my pain, y'all. This is hilarious how cursed this is. Like, everything sucks in different ways. What is... what... Why is this so big? Like, what even is this? Why do I have it? All right. <laughs> I'm gonna look for the Kekuroki hallway or whatever that is. I don't know if I have it in here, but it's worth a look. Why would they do that? It looks awful. You know, it's so sad. I wonder if the snack machine is any different. I know that's just a one by one, or like the drink machine rather is what I meant to say. Uh, what am I looking for? CDFG, HHIK. Uh, I think I was gonna look for the Kekropi stuff. I remember Katie suggested this, the diner sofa, so let's give that a shot. Oh, and here's this for testing this. The drink machine. Did I pass it? A to C F G H I J K. Okay, I guess I don't have the cat gropey hallway. Uh, <laughs> go me. Have you tried doing a couple chunks of cliff? No. Uh, I feel like you would be able to see the cliff through the, the thing, but that's a good suggestion. Probably too short. Let's see if the drink machine is like any more flush than this other rude item. Eh. <laughs> it has like an annoying sliver, but. It might be serviceable, especially if we do some of that stuff we were just talking about with like the simple panel. Uh, let's see if I have a drink machine in this island. Oh wow, sunset has fallen. 
Uh, it would be really nice, by the way. I mean, I hope one thing that I can do, uh, I hope I can kind of like finish some of this camper angst like tonight. Uh, I know I've been like working on this one aspect for, excuse me, <laughs> you know, my Coke Zero. I think I've been working on this part of the build for like a little while now, but it would be really nice to finish this part and then tomorrow like focus on more of the funner stuff. So I think um, tomorrow, like when I stream again, uh, we'll either keep working on this build and hopefully get to some funner, more finished parts. Uh, or I could always uh, switch to something else too, uh, like work on a different area of Fawn Hollow. Uh, let's try these drink machines. Got a few in black. Enough to maybe like test the theory. If I'm not mistaken, I think it's like a little taller than that other thing I really liked was, the ABD. So that's like one possible flaw with it. It is like a little bit more flush though. I can also see some like weird, yeah. Oh, Kyoti, are you uh, submitting like a random factoid that you read from the chat? Harvard study thinks intelligent life can't exist anywhere else. That's actually an interesting question. It's, um, there's some sort of a principle uh, that it's called. Is it the Copernican principle? <laughs> I'm not sure. Uh, but yeah, there's like basically some sort of just uh, observation that uh, it definitely doesn't seem like life is teeming in the universe, so we could be very special. It's hard to, s it's hard to tell until we really have the data on it or not, but um, life could be very rare because of what it would take to evolve life. Um, not being very eloquent right now, but it's a complex process. Uh, it was years and years of just unicellular life before it evolved uh, past that, before it evolved into DNA. It's a, it was a very... Uh, we don't even really exactly know how it happened, but they have theories that it was basically like a chain of chemical reactions. So if you think about how complex it is, how many planets could truly like support life, I guess uh, it's as respectable of, of an opinion as any, probably. Mm. Well. I have to admit I'm getting kind of emo about this. Uh, I might go ahead and try like a Hail Mary thing. Like I might, uh, let's, let's try to move this so it's not like behind us anymore. Maybe we'll have better luck if we're like kind of looking down on it or maybe that won't be any better, but it doesn't hurt to try. I'm just getting kind of discouraged and kind of feeling like there isn't some perfect item in the game that's like a combination of a roof and a window blocker and is flush with each other like uh, it's very frustrating because it feels like I'm not asking a lot of this item like I just want it to be flush and I want it to meet certain height and a very basic color like I literally just want it to be black and that's like all I want but I, nothing is fitting the bill at all so 
Uh, I figured maybe if there's like another way I can view this thing, uh, maybe it'll be easier to be happy with it. Uh, I don't know. We'll try this angle. Uh, I'm kind of sad though. This build is turning out so well and like the camper aspect of it's not working. So I'm getting kind of down about it. I guess the force comes to worse, I just don't have to have that be part of the build. I can do something else. I can do a truck or a car or anything. Looks up which items can be flushed together in ACNH. Google gives me an article on how to poop in the game. Because of flush, I guess. Oh, uh, Mossy, I don't know if you know what I mean by flush. I mean, like, items that are flush with each other. Um, like simple panels are. Uh, Actually, the ABD got really close. I was actually moderately okay with the ABD. I, it just doesn't come in black is the main problem. But see, that's like semi-close. Uh, so that's more of what I'm looking for. I'm not looking for it to be flush with the... Yeah. You did the same thing as Shy. Y'all are so sweet. Uh, thank you for your your quirky ways of helping here. <laughs> oh, and hi, Walker. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thanks for dropping by today. I'm getting kind of frustrated because I'm trying to get this camper to work and it's not... <laughs> Maybe I should call it a day soon. Uh, we're trying this other angle though. Yeah, and this angle sucks too, so. So few items in this game want to touch each other, right? Well, I'm gonna look at my reference image, see if there's something else I can do besides this weird thing. Uh, maybe I should just do like a regular truck. You know the game, the item in the game that's like a, a truck truck? Maybe if I put a truck down and put like a vine like in front of the truck, it'll look kind of post-apocalyptic in that way. Hurts my heart to give up though, it really does. Keeping an eye out for any other items, too, that catch my eye. Okay, let's see if I have a truck. Is it called a truck? I mean, that's another question. <laughs> Who knows what items are called in this game? It could be called anything. Oh, and it doesn't matter because my pockets are full. So it's just called truck. Well, that's good. Nice to be predictable for once. You can customize the side. 
Yeah, so maybe the, the truck will be satisfactory after all. It's not as cozy as a camper, though. Yeah, here's our trucks. <laughs> Comes in a warm yellow. The yellow's not too bad. I have a feeling if I want to change the color, I would have to go to Cyrus, so um, I'm not sure if there are any other colors, but... So... Yeah, I mean, you could kind of maybe, like, put it at a certain angle. Uh, you definitely probably want to see it from the lookout point. It's weird how boxy it looks from behind. <laughs> There, that's more visible. Having like the front of it face you. Maybe I could put a giant vine in front to finish it off and see if that looks all right. You think so, Shy? Oh, I just saw it. Uh, so which color should we do? Oh, Dusty Hop Down. Uh, so we could do like green or light green or man, there's a million colors of these things. Whatever. <laughs> I'll just pick one. Can change the color later. Uh, I could also do just a regular tree, but I've always sort of felt like maybe you squint your eye a certain way maybe the giant vine kind of looks like it's climbing up the the truck although I notice as soon as I do the camera app it's like nope <laughs> nope no more vine so that's awesome uh, I feel like this point of view it might still look good even without like the whole camera app thing though like but the camera app helps you see more of the details uh, all right, I'm gonna time travel to earlier in the day. Uh, I just want to kind of like see this build again like uh, in clear light. It's definitely gotten dark out. And um, might start to wind down soon because it's getting kind of late. I have work in the morning. I hope to stream tomorrow though and uh, I hope I can get back some of the more productive vibes and not just be fiddling over which vehicle um, is here. But I hope you all understand why I was so focused on the camper. It was like a key part of my uh, inspiration image that I was using. Yeah, like it is very clearly uh, some sort of camper and uh, you can see how with like the right sort of like camper pattern i could have maybe even picked one that had graffiti on it like i really could have tried to play up this post-apocalyptic camper thing but what i was having trouble with is that the lookout point is here like where the cat is and you can see the camper behind you and i needed something to like cover up the windows and possibly like serve as a roof because the stall looked goofy from the angle of like where the cat's standing and everything looked goofy from that angle. So I was really focused on like trying to pick the perfect item and maybe the perfect item does exist and I just need to like really look through the ACNH catalog. But uh, in the meantime, uh, I was testing out this truck idea to see if the truck works any better.
am I making it up that you can put patterns on the truck? Yeah, I think uh, you probably don't even need to go to Cyrus for that. I think you just need customization kits and you just slap it on the side. But I think if you want to change the color of the truck, you go to Cyrus. Saw someone use the cute beds for the camper panels and it looks kind of like a canopy. Unless you're content with using the truck. Cute beds, hmm. Wouldn't have even thought of that. Uh, I'll definitely test anything and everything out uh, for anything, any possibility I could have missed because I was attached to the camper. Uh, like here's how it looks right now. Uh, the yellow is sort of like grating on me. <laughs> I don't like the yellow. So I mean that's a bonus of like going with the camper is the fact that I can choose the color and I can choose something that vibes more. Even the gray boxiness of the truck isn't wonderful. So yeah, I think I have some more work to do, but at the end of the day, um, I think this build would get somewhere eventually. And thanks for trial and airing with me today. I really appreciate it. And thanks for the support. I really appreciate like all the resubs. Oh, it might only work from that standard straight on angle. Yeah, the angle that I'm with is kind of tricky. Uh, probably the most hopeful I got was like if the ABDs were black, I think I would have been kind of happy with that. <laughs> Thank you, Lenore. Thanks for the encouragement. I think also somehow I got wrong my lookout point again. Yeah, I'll see you all tomorrow. Here's the Discord in the meantime. Uh, it's great for keeping up with announcements and keeping in touch with stream. You think the truck does a good job of giving the build a scale? Oh. Yeah, maybe gotta find a better color, better pattern for the truck. Uh, thank you, Mossy. Thank you everyone for your feedback and help. I really appreciate it. I hope you all have a wonderful night and uh, have a cozy weekend. Uh, do something uh, special for yourself and enjoy uh, the weekend and uh, I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye, good night. Aw. Thank you all. Thanks for watching. Good night, everyone. Bye.